you see a buzz warning sign, call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. KHTKAM HD1 Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. This, this, this is Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Quite a bit of back again. As my wife warned me repeatedly. It'll, it'll be fine. You gotta relax. It'll be fine. Uh, there's a puppy on the show today. Also, I brought my dog in. We'll get to Kyle in a second, though. Uh, this is Gracie. Uh, she is uh, the younger sister of Gus. She is five months old, and she is friendly. And by friendly, I mean kind of a psycho. She is in full puppy mode. Now, some of you longtime uh, viewers know, you, you know, man, you got to relax. Come here. Some of you Bro, long- staring contests, and I'm winning. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, she's... Some of you longtime listeners, uh, and uh, really more importantly, YouTube viewers, will, uh, will remember... Uh, when I brought Gus in as a puppy, and that dude was just like, Meh. slept here, just Meh. chilled all day, didn't care, didn't care about you or your show. Shout out, Marty McNeil. R.I.P. R.I.P. And uh, this one's different, as you can tell. I brought a couple of Chewies with her. Maybe later today we'll mic her up. Mm. She's not as snorty as Gus. But, um, you know, she, uh, my wife says, do you want me to come get her? Uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, I also have a meeting later today at, uh, with some of our people at the Republic headquarters. Oh. So I'll be taking her there too. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a day of, of gracing. I felt like, uh, I felt like we needed, uh, a little bit of, uh, puppying today because, uh, you know, last night was. Last night was rough, rough, uh, but weirdly enough, um, I'm not that broken up about it. I'm really not. Okay. It's, uh, it, it was, it was, it was lowered, lowered expectations, if you will. Did not, did not expect much last night, hoped, didn't expect. And, uh, it was pretty evident despite the, uh, the banana and the tailpipe that they often will do with us, um, that that game was pretty much done in the first. There were still three quarters of basketball, and they came back. And that was nice, uh, but but you know that was uh, that was zero uh, and five. They say you can't beat a team five times in <laughs> yeah. a row like that. Yeah, well, Kings got swept and then some. Yeah, that's an ungentlemanly sweep. Um, I called you yesterday with like a, a crazy you scenario. Yes. Um, while speaking of scenarios, you want just. Just one more to do you put it out there to avoid it or do you put it out there to speak it into existence? I think at this point, it all much all, I think at this point, and I'm saying this, all, all karma ing is off. Like at this point, who the hell knows what's gonna work? Well, there's so many things right now that you could say that could trigger Kings fans, like, oh, just don't give me that scenario. Don't give me this scenario. The one I thought of last night is and I forget the complications, or it's not really that complicated how it would have to happen, but there's a scenario, Dave, where the Kings could Win the last two, uh-huh. right? We know they're not; they can't be the six seed. Um, the Pelicans, uh, let's see, lose the last two, and okay. you know what? What the Kings would find themselves on Tuesday going to New Orleans. Oh, God. Let's try it a sixth time. I'd rather be the eleven seed. Exactly. What would, we, what would that happen if we went to New Orleans and just beat them by thirty? Wouldn't that kind of like you'd be like? I don't think that's going to happen, but yeah, 
it is this. I wasn't even thinking about them anymore. I'm like, gosh, I'm so glad they're done with this team. Don't have to play. Oh wait, there is a scenario where they could play them. There was a stat rolling around yesterday because when they were down like thirty something twenty, you know, thirty whatever to eleven. Yeah. Uh, and it was like, well, the Kings are now collectively minus eighty four against the Pelicans this year. Turns out that. Oh, it got over 100, didn't it? Yeah, that they they have now lost to the Pelicans by the largest differential. They they have now lost to a team by the largest differential since anyone since like 1983. <laughs> like since before the Kings got here. Uh yeah. So and apparently, yeah, Kyle had told us the stat last night that kind of had come through the from TNT, but they were the last team that had not been defeated wire to wire until last night. The, Everybody the, else in the NBA had. Oh, the Kings had not been defeated? Wow. So they got that. Well, I guess I'll be starring on three for madness, uh, or uh, three in the key a little yeah. bit later. I know there was a couple of things on point swing. <sighs> I don't know that I've ever seen one team just dominate the other that much over that many games. Yeah, and even in the game, like the other games, I didn't think the Kings, like I actually thought the Kings were okay last night. And you just go, they don't have enough with against this team no and then like zion would go and you go wait this is literally unfair they're all professionals and you go wait this is unfair it, it was they can't literally can't stop it no uh there was one drive i i know you know what i'm talking about i want to say it was midway through the fourth maybe a little later in the fourth and zion just basically put harrison barnes in his back pocket and laid it in like Zion's, well, he's not taller than everybody now, but like no. he grew up, like there's videos of Zion just like this man child. Yes. It looked like he was back then, like in high school. There's the one thing, did you ever see the, it was out there on social media. There's a kid that's, I don't know, I'll have his height and weight wrong, but he sure looked like he was about 5'8", 130. And you're like, and he's like, you know, like, oh, sorry. That's okay. See, I was just like all ready to go. and like, I, I'm going to do this. And you're like, okay, you, you can't. You no. You and can't. now it's like Harrison Barnes who looks tiny and everyone else looks tiny around the guy. <sighs> yeah. It's it, it just, you don't, you, it is, I don't know. The, the thing that I've said this before, to me, maybe the worst thing about this type of stuff when it's not going well is it's just the fans turning on each other just the arguing you know and which is why you should never be on social media where i live but you know it's a it's a community i want to be i want to see what everyone's saying and <clears throat> you know my I, I last night it was i mean honest to god and and i'm only going to say the stuff that was brought up by like more than a handful of people not the majority monty mcnair has to go uh he he sat on his hands what has he done well, he drafted Halliburton. He traded for Sabonis, Keon Ellis, drafted Keegan, signed Malik Monk. Yeah, but any GM would have done. Okay. Uh, DeMontis, my, one of my favorites, DeMontis, Sabonis, and De'Aaron Fox are soft. Okay. Now, look, if you want to say, are these the guys that mentally are going to take you over the top and do they need somebody who, you know, the Jimmy Butler type, whatever, I, I'm open to that argument. I don't know that that's those two. I don't know that it's not. I'm just saying, I understand that. But, like, I don't know how you can see these guys playing night in, night out with the physicality. I, I, soft is not the term that comes to mind with those guys. Um, Mike Brown, that's the big one. You know, Mike Brown's got to go. Someone's got to wake Mike Brown up. Mike Brown's had a terrible year. And I, I, I think, and I, I'm the most guilty of this, you know, you're a prisoner of expectations. Mike Brown said last night, and he's been there before. You know, this is invaluable experience for the for the players. I, I hope he's right. I hope this is something they can call on next year. But it just seems. And the whole Monk and Herter are out thing, there's no doubt that that sure. sucks. They were also 0-4 to the Pelicans before that. And, yeah. by the way, the Pelicans didn't have Brandon Ingram. Yeah, he's been an all-star. I'm scared to think of what that game would have looked like last night with Brandon Ingram. Yeah, I've never seen, like, when the Lakers beat the, excuse me, the Kings beat the Lakers four times. Yeah. They just beat them. They beat them. That's it, though. This is, like, domination. <laughs> this was a pasting for pretty much every game. And, again, the Kings aren't, 
who the Pistons had a franchise record 67th loss yesterday. Mm. They're not the Pistons. No. They're not Charlotte. They're not a team that's like, they're, they're not a bad team. They're a postseason team. And the Pelicans and Kings record is really not much different. No. But it's different now because they beat them five times. It is the all-time styles make fights matchup. What is it? One seventh of their losses? Yeah, they have 35 losses. And then add in what? The three to Houston. Yeah, eight of their losses are those two teams. And, you know, again, if you want to go the other way, it's like, how are they three and one against Denver? Four and oh against the Lakers? Uh, Two and one against, I don't know. I don't know the answer. This matchup, is terrible and the way it started last night 9 0 34 to 11 you're going oh my gosh are they gonna lose by 60 at home yeah now they fought i'll give them that i i agree they did fight it was like wow they're there and they got it to two you're like you know what they actually might do this and then down 20 again late and then they pushed it a little closer but it just it it, it didn't feel like a fair fight and that's tough to say and you're a home floor and you're a good team and you just can't hang with them Long and, enough. And, and somebody explained to me how New Orleans on December 7th lost to the Lakers 133 to 89. You know, we sweep the Lakers. Yeah. New Orleans sweeps us, but New Orleans is one and two against the Lakers this year with one more game to yeah. go. How, 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 in what world? Yeah, they don't have the tiebreaker on the Lakers, which won't matter. They don't have it on the Suns, which could matter. Kings have the tiebreaker advantage on so many teams. Yeah. And this one, it's like, oh, yeah, no, that would. Like if somehow, some way, there was a way that these two got set up in the playoffs, it's like, uh, all right, will it, there be a fifth game? <laughs> that's the thing. I, I, and here we are. And depending on how you want to put it, the the Kings are in a three way tie for eighth. Mm-hmm. The Kings are in a three way tie for tenth. Yeah, it's all in play. Yeah, I mean, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth. It is all possible. Now again, that. The positive, if you want one, they've got tiebreaker advantages. That's about it. But they, of the bottom four, they're playing the worst Uh at the worst time. They're not healthy. It's not a reason why they're not playing well. But I think the one thing I I will say, and it's another game of seeing this, and I don't know why I didn't feel this way before. I think the loss of Malik is bigger than than the obvious of not having Malik. There's something with him connected with Sabonis. Oh, you're absolutely right. Like there's a superpower that they also lost. Yes. Yes. Like Simonis is there. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but he's not the same. He's not. Kings are five games back of the Mavericks. Wow. This is like the exact inverse of what happened last year. Yeah. Yeah. That game here, yeah. they were tied up, or the Dallas could have tied them up. He's passed them, and then they just then never looked never, back. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's almost exactly the opposite. By the way, the Lakers have won seven of ten. The Warriors have won nine of ten. Even yeah. Phoenix has won six of ten. And here come the Kings, having lost six of ten. All three teams are forty-five and thirty-five. As we did say, uh, they do have the tiebreaker on both the Warriors and Lakers. But it very much, as Gracie scratches an itch there, it, it uh, they very much are fighting for their. And by the way, what best case scenario? Not best case, but let's say uh, I think we. I think right now we'd all take the seven seed. A hundred percent. Okay, you've still got to go to Phoenix. And then you've got to host a game at home against either the Lakers or Warriors. Like that's not a cakewalk. Right, I right, take right. it. I take that it. would to me that would be the best possible scenario. Yes. Other than well, being, yeah. I guess being home and being seven. Right. But yeah, going to Phoenix of the choices of Phoenix. Well, New Orleans is still in play. Right. Um, Lakers or Warriors. I think Phoenix would be the team I would pick for. I would choose for. You would choose if you had to go to a team's row. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Rather than the Lakers or Warriors. Yes. Yeah, well, the Warriors for sure. Oh, but the Warriors have sucked at home this year. But yeah, <laughs> you're right. I know. I hear you. I hear. You. Just not the Warriors, dude. God, I honestly would rather be sent home by the Lakers than the Warriors. Well, I guess in that scenario, the yeah. seven eight. If I don't even know, I guess there's probably a way. Yeah, there probably is. The Warriors could be seven. The Kings eight. I guess um, that they, they wouldn't eliminate you if they beat you. That's true. But. I don't really like that anyway. All right. I don't like that call. Uh, Christopher Lott is in Idaho. Uh, Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Dave. All right. We'll take a break. When we come (laughs) back, leading off the Kings lose to the Pelicans uh, and right back at it with the Suns tonight. And uh, 
Yeah, we got a uh, we got all 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 the teams playing all hands. On deck. All hands. Uh, we are going to have Masters updates for you. Uh, and Jason, I'm looking at the thing here. I believe we have a guest coming on at nine. Scheduled to. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. We have a regular guest. We'll, we'll have somebody coming on at 9 a.m. Somebody who uh, may have earned his way back on the show. I didn't give it away. It's Jason. It's Dave. Kyle in for Chris for a lot. Leading off is next. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year. Coach of the year. Clutch player of the year. All-stars and all-NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox. A breakaway. He stopped the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team. Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? And you were a bit surprised at how much it cost? Or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area A. A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. That's why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Call 916-520-9990 now. Let's do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. Double team blitz. Pass goes to Zeller. Out to Alvarado for three. Turn out the lights. This thing is 615 from being over, but it might as well be done because it's now 23 point separation at 123-100. Second time the Pelicans have led by as many as 23. They've now made 21 three-pointers in this game. There was a listener yesterday that sent me a message and said, hey, you love you love putting out all your polls and stuff. Hello. <laughs> um, why don't you put one out on, you know, whether or not the Kings have over or underachieved hmm. this year, he goes because I, I I think no matter what, uh, I I don't think you could say that they've underachieved. Well, with uh, nineteen hundred votes in as of right now, ninety percent of the fan base believes they've underachieved this year. I'm just saying this is just what the fan base thinks. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, ninety two percent of the fan base thinks OJ Simpson did it. I put that one out there too, just for uh, you know how many percent? Ninety two. Ninety two percent. Uh, at a couple of minutes into the game, again, this is just not the whole fan base, but it's a pretty, you know, 800 votes here. The Kings are currently down 11 to two. Will they take the lead at any point? 81% of fans said no. Uh, Jason, for me, uh, game started at what time? Seven, seven, 10, 10, uh, seven Oh five, seven Oh five. At 724, I tweeted out, I've seen enough. The Kings lose to the New Orleans Pelicans for the fifth time this year. With a likely Warriors win tonight in Portland, they will now be in a three-way tie for 8, 9, or 10, along with the Lakers with a back-to-back versus Phoenix tomorrow. When they were down 20. Did that make you feel good? No, it made me feel terrible. And honestly, and it's not like a called shot thing either. Like, that that wasn't it. As soon as they were down 20 in the first, like, that's it. That, that's it. And... Also, along the way, discussing with people the inevitable, hey, we're going to make a comeback, only to fall short. Like, it's almost weirdly predictable. The Kings have cut a 20-point deficit to six at the half. Will they come back and win the game? Actually, 58% said, yes, here's the difference, though. I only opened that poll for five minutes. The other ones, you know, people Mm -hmm. could come back. Uh, The fan base, largely... um, is having trouble believing in this team right now. And Understandably you, so. 
And I think that's okay. I, I, I think in the end, it's almost like, uh, well, it's not. Look, death is a real thing that matters. This is sports. But whatever bad thing you can think of that doesn't involve something serious like death, it, 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 you fight it, you fight it, you fight it. Eventually, you come to this realization that it's inevitable, and you just almost you, you get to kind of like a comfortable place with it, as comfortable as you can. I think that's where a lot of us are with this team, where, look, this is who they are. And they're not trying to lose. They're not bad people. They just don't have. They just don't have it. Right. And hopefully that leads into the off season. And Monty does have a lot of work to do. That is clear. And I don't know what kind of paint and brushes he's got to work with, especially if this team doesn't make the playoffs and they can't convey that pick. Yeah. And again, you're not always going to play New Orleans, but when they do, it sticks out. Like we've always been saying, man, this team could use more six eight long wingspan type players yes. new orleans has all of them they have every single one <laughs> and that's they, why it's such part of partly such a bad matchup they have every single one and it's very annoying and i don't like it this dog is a goofball have you notice that yeah yeah my favorite thing so far is you making serious king's points while the dog is staring directly into the camera well the dog understands <laughs> The, the dog understands that this is a serious time right now in Kingsland. And also the dog, I'm, I'll give it to her. She understands we're doing a show right now. And you look in the camera. Gracie's waiting for Friday Funny Games. Gracie is, oh my gosh, Gracie is 100% waiting for Friday Funny Games. She uh, Can she be my partner? Uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. All right. Cut. See if it's involved. Cut number two. Cut number two. Kick out pass comes to Devin Booker. Harrison Barnes, the defender. Booker puts it on the floor with a right hand dribble. Gets the two point range. He rocks. He fires. He scores. Oh, what a dagger that one is. It was two. It makes it 124, 121. Just a great shot from Devin Booker. Yeah. That's back tonight. Yes. That's back tonight. And, uh, okay, we're back at it. King, Suns, 7 o'clock. Jason, I just want to mark this down because I don't often do this. And I'll regret it. I have a good feeling about tonight. Okay. I do. I, just my, I'm not going to fight it. I have to go to uh, the professor of the Jinx class. I, I don't know what this means. <laughs> I'm, I'm allergic to doing this there is a difference between saying i have a good feeling about tonight and kings are gonna win tonight like wow. kings are gonna win tonight is straight up a jinx but this is this is jinx adjacent mm -hmm. because monday if anyone even remembers it's gonna be like see what happens when you have a good feeling and i'll accept that i'll accept that so I, why do you have a good feeling about tonight? I have no explanation for that. Okay. I don't. I have no explanation. There's no logical reason for me other than the King. Uh, here's the thing. The Kings have had, I'll give you two reasons why. Number one, I feel like playing anyone but the Pelicans is like bricks off your feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll give you three reasons. Number two, they've actually, for the most part, done quite well against the Suns Correct. this year. Uh, number three, although it's the second night of a back-to-back, uh, it is not their first game back from a road trip. Hmm. Uh, so you've knocked out some of that stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get it out of the way early, Jason. Uh, Suns at Kings tonight. Who is favored and by how much? Didn't the Kings end up being favored yesterday? Uh, the Kings were favored by one and a half in what uh, many are calling uh, some of the easiest money ever won in the history of gambling. I'm really confused about tonight. I'm going to say... I'm going to go with the same spread. Kings by one and a half. Kings by one and a half. Kyle. I'll say Suns by one and a half. Well, you are both wrong. It's five and a half. Not for the Kings. No. Okay. The Suns are favored by five and a half. Tonight, okay. So that's, that's how Vegas watched the game. I think, I think they did. No, I gotta be honest. I, I'm not saying that that won't work. But instinctively, I would think the value would be on the Kings in that situation. Honest to goodness, whether they that's a that's a lot five and a half home dogs for a team that's won over five hundred is yeah yeah. Also, you were doing the radio broadcast. There was a fun moment. I'll see if I can find the audio where uh, <laughs> they they put a graphic up about uh, betting spreads and it said, "Well, the King, you know, according to FanDuel or whatever, the Kings were one and a half point favorites coming in, and now they're uh, 
seven and a half point dogs. That's what they should have said. But Reggie was like, well, the Kings were, well, I think actually the Pelicans, I, I don't know. I Math just, is hard for Reggie. Yeah, he did. I, I don't know betting, which is good. Yeah. And I was looking for an Otani joke in there, and he never made it. So good restraint there. Uh, yeah, so that's all happening tonight. That is also uh, an NBA TV game, but we will have the local coverage yeah. uh, as well right here on Sacktown Sports. Real quick, uh, cut number three, please. Cut number three. So let's talk about what we saw in the West tonight. Let's throw those standings up there so that we can right see the Pelicans at 48 and 32. Now the Suns, 47 and 33, a game back, but they do have the tiebreaker over the Pelicans. So it's going to come down to what goes on this weekend as far as uh, who gets into the playoffs and who is in the play-in. Yeah, everybody plays tonight. A lot of NBA. Yeah. We got the Masters. We'll talk about that in a bit. We got some updates for you brought to you by Division Wood. And, uh, but on what Ernie said, Kings will yeah. not be a playoff team, at least this weekend. They yeah. can't. They're going to have to earn that through the play-in. They are. They sure are, Jason. They sure. They're going to have to earn it. Mm. We control our own destiny to the seventh seed, according to this person. Is that right? Yeah, because the tiebreakers, if they win both. That's true. Win uh, both. Wait a minute. Yeah, yes, if they win the last two games, they will. Don't they need Phoenix to lose one? Wait, uh, is Phoenix what... is at 47? So I was, let me bring this up. because I that believe they are. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they need Phoenix to go 0-2. So, yeah, Phoenix right now is two games ahead. Yeah, of the and they do play the Kings. Obviously, the Kings Once. have to win, and then they play Minnesota. Yeah, so the Suns have to go 0-2. The Kings have to go 2-0. Yeah. They, they, the Kings do not, in fact. That's for seven. The, they control their own destiny for eight. Yeah. If they win both. They are at worst, they're eight. At worst, they're eight. They hold the tiebreaker between the Warriors and the Lakers. Yeah. All right. We will oh, don't do that. Oh, there. Okay. Hey, uh, oh, we're starting we to again. talk about this. Uh, we did talk about this. We will uh, take a break as uh, my dog it is bring puppy to school day. Uh, and my dog is starting to get brave, and that will only get worse. You must smell my dog. Uh, <laughs> when we, and I brought toys and everything to it. Thank you. Guy, I'll play with those is, later. Which is basically the carpet in our house. Our house is, you know, like when somebody has a new baby and uh -huh. it's just toys. And that's that's our house. It's just everything is that. We'll take a break. We'll see if Gracie can behave during the break. And when we come back, Kings, Pelicans, we got audio for you right after this. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Some days, my active psoriatic arthritis makes it hard to get in the game. Now, the ball is in my court. Thanks to treating my skin and joints with Sky Rizzi. Rizzi Kizumab Rizzi, a prescription-only 150 milligram injection for adults. Nothing is everything. Sky Rizzi helps with less joint pain, stiffness, swelling, and fatigue. For those who also have plaque psoriasis, 90% clearer skin is possible with just four doses a year after two starter doses. Don't use if allergic to Sky Rizzi. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Before treatment, your doctor should check for infection and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fever, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. With Sky Rizzi, there's nothing like clearer skin and better movement, and that means everything. Ask your doctor today about Sky Rizzi and visit SkyRizzi.com or call 1-866-SKY-RIZZI to learn more. Celebrate Sacramento Rivercats baseball during our 25th anniversary season. Pick your favorite weekly promotion, giveaway game, or theme night, and join the fun at Sutter Health Park. Stick around post-game every Friday and Saturday night as we light up the sky with the brightest fireworks in town. For a full promotion schedule and to buy tickets, visit rivercats.com. We'll see you there. So here's a fact. 85% of the population will suffer from foot pain in their lifetime. That's almost everyone. So you'd think there'd be plenty of healthy long-term remedies, but there just aren't, right? Hi, I'm Dan from the Good Feet Store. You know, people come in all the time sharing the same frustrating story. Bought this, tried that, been there, done whatever, all different kinds of things, but all with a similar result. 
nothing. A discouraging and endless cycle of disappointment. If this rings a bell, don't despair. There is hope. If you think you've tried everything, you probably haven't tried Good Feet Arch Supports from the Good Feet Store. They're designed to relieve, even eliminate, the pain commonly caused by certain foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, flat feet, and others. Plus, provide better balance and increased comfort. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one in your neck of the woods. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, New Dawn Treatment Centers, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly, 1-800-GAMBLER. All guests and callers, join us from the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. Sabonis at the free throw line has the ball deflected, stolen. Zion trying to go end to end. Bulldozes his way to the rack and scores. And the Pelicans are off to a 4-0 start. Williamson with a post up inside. No match for the Kings. Timeout taken by Brown. Zion makes it 16 to 5, and the Sacramento Kings find themselves in a double digit hole in the first four and a half minutes of the evening. Deep right wing three. Score another one. Trey Murphy. And don't let him get going. The 23 year old has just made it a 12 0 New Orleans run. Kings trail 28 to 11. See if the Kings can get a defensive stop here. Pelicans have had their way. They're 10 of 17, including 5 of 8 from downtown. Here's Murphy, a deeper three. Scores it again. Another timeout taken here by Mike Brown. 15 straight points for the Pelicans, who lead it 31 to 11. Yeah, you can pretty much stop it there. Yeah, I didn't like it then. No, nah, it's not fun. You, you've given in now. You decided to yeah, I'm all in. get a riler up now. All right, hey, you know what? You're uh, not not uh, if you're listening. Tell me not thinking about New Orleans. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, dog is dog. Dog is here. Uh, puppy dog. You wanted some more dog in this team. Yeah, you wanted you wanted the dog on the Kings. Oh, I got one for you. And Jason is now giving in. He'll be sneezing for the next three days. Yeah. But uh, allergies in full effect. Yeah, I lost. It's a great angle on her, by the way. <laughs> we got that caboose. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, yeah, uh, we're biting, are we? That was she uh, is. And a, that's me. She's a she is a she is a gnawer, if you will. Uh, no. It's all right. Thirty-one to eleven, and uh, finally, Deer and Fox breaks the seven uh, zero. Really, more like thirty-one eleven run. Fox gonna stop and pop on a three-point attempt. He's got the triple. Deer and Fox now with seven points. Kings. Sneaking a little bit closer with seven unanswered points. It's 34 to 18. 42 seconds left here. Yeah, so I thought Fox, yeah. by the way, did his part to go, look, I, I don't know where this game is going. I don't like where it's going. I'm just going to go and take over, which he did. <sighs> he did, and and that's where it gets tough because I, <laughs> look, I'm not happy with the way the season is winding down thus far. I, I want to spend all day just, you know, talking about how lame this team has been. Uh, and, 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 you, you know, I really need to quit worrying about how people take things because it's like, if you, if you say one tiny thing, Oh, more victory. Oh, Oh, you're happy with, no, I'm not. I'm really unhappy with this loss. I'm really proud of De'Aaron Fox. Yeah. Perform- and really the team as a whole, a lot of things can be true in your statements. You know what I mean? Like, that's exactly right. 
And I think it's when you do it, look, we do this every day, every game. So if we're doing just this game, yeah. this game on its own, if it was, I don't even know if it'd be game one, but part of the narrative of the game is the season impact of losing to the same team. Right. And the importance of the game. I thought the after I, I don't know that they were I don't even want to see if they weren't ready, but that first punch was a haymaker, huge haymaker. And I mean nine nothing to thirty four to eleven. You're like, are you guys even like? Do you realize the importance of this game? And are I you think, awake? <laughs> yeah. From I mean, from that point on, they were in it. Like they were fighting, which is what you want. I, again, one I thought New Orleans was incredible. Yes. Two, um, it also felt like wow. I, I don't think it's a fair fight. I don't think the Kings have enough. Did CJ McCollum, by the way, just make another three? Yeah, contested too, by the way. And there were some, like, early on, I felt, okay, Trey Murphy's open. What are you doing? Like, right. are you, this guy can shoot. Yeah. Later, I thought the contested threes that CJ made, yeah. I, I what don't you know do? what you do. There were three or four plays in the game that, like, there was a dive or a loose ball, effort, energy, hustle, tipped over to the corner. Oh, Pelicans hit a three. You're uh -huh. like, wait. That was defended like I, I think if they looked at the film, like you did everything right, they just made a three on you. There was a there was a midi from the free throw line. Uh, CJ McCollum had it, maybe the corner, and uh, or the right right. Uh, what do you call it? Right edge of the free throw line, elbow. Right. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. And uh, that's why I couldn't be a play by play guy. Hmm. And Keon Ellis, like CJ McCollum, if he was going to a wedding, would have been wearing. Keon Ellis. Yeah. Keon Ellis wearing? today. Keon uh, Ellis. Wearing Keon Ellis. Yeah. It he was all it was like the most perfect possible defense without fouling. Swish. Yeah. You're just like, okay, I, I at this point. Right. What what evs, dog? So the, uh, what was it? The one steal they had that basically got pushed all the way to this like a sprint for Alvarado to the corner right in front of the Pelicans bench. He catches his momentum's taking him out. Yep. He just I'm a turn and fire go, what are you doing? What are you doing, Swish? Swish? Like that's a terrible shot that he just made. Alvar but, yeah. Alvarado was pissing me off. Yeah, I know. Fox with a steal. Took it away from Trey Murphy. Cruises into the front court. No look pass to the left angle. And a shot is missed on the drive down inside by Davion Mitchell. It may have been blocked. Alvarado, corner three in transition. And New Orleans answering each and every time. It's 87-78. We approach three minutes to go in this third quarter. Speaking of CJ McCollum, here's his ninth three of the game. That's too many. 115 to 100. Kings on the short end of the tally. And Fox now has 25 points. Here's McCollum for another three. Of course he makes it. Well, that's now his ninth, which equals his season high. He's nine of 12. That's the alarming thing. Uh, Cody Zeller would jam one. God, he just looked <laughs> so funny. Was this the play where... No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I, I, well, let's see what play it was. Alvarado on the run, surveying the floor. It's 118 to 100. Cody Zeller makes it a 20 point game on a run to the rim from the right baseline on a two hand flush. Who invited you, Cody? He really does look like the dude that shows up at 24 hour fitness <laughs> yeah. with like the knee high white socks. Right. And a headband. Calls everybody. Uh, I got next. Yeah. Exactly. Calls everybody my man. Yeah. You know, just pass my man. Right. High fives. Just, you know, does the fist when you do the hand, hand yeah. fit, you, know, you do the stick shift. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Troy Murphy uh, finished off the Kings. Williamson gives it up to Jones. Out down to the logo. Holding it in the crowd. CJ McCollum. Here's Zion to Jones. Out on the wing. Murphy for three. He knocks down the triple. The sixth one he's made tonight in 12 attempts. He has 26 points. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like a, just a box score review. If you didn't see the game, you yeah. look at like King shot well. Yeah. Hit enough threes. If it's only Barnes is going to get 20 plus points. Sabonis so got a double double, but still a double double. Fox 30. You got Conchip. Davion was good. It's like, yeah, this this could be shot free throws well. If I didn't, if, if you just looked at the King's box score to your point. And you didn't know the final score. If you'd have shown us this box score prior to the game. Okay. Well, let's see. The King shot 55%. That's great. 42 from beyond the arc. That's really good. Made 16 threes. 75% from the line. Not great. Not terrible. That's fine. I'll take it. It's a W. 33 for Fox. 18, 10, and 4 with a couple of steals for DeMar. All right. Cool. Wow. Harrison, 22 points. On 9 of 15, he was super efficient. Wow. Keegan, 
had five threes, 19 points. Hey, now, and, oh, well, you know, Keon had five points, but he probably played really, really good defense. As you said, Mitchell, 13 off the bench. I'm like, that's 100% a win. That's a hundred. No, that might be the, team. that might be the best box score all year the Kings have had in a loss. loss. Yeah, like the problem in New York and in Boston, um, not, not they couldn't score. They they last night they couldn't stop. Right, they could not stop <laughs> no, the Pelicans. Nope, nope. Well, hopefully that's the last time we see them ever. Hopefully, even like next year. Yeah, like just don't even put them on the schedule. Take like the bye week. And now the Kings have their work cut out for them starting tonight. Two games left, both at home. Hey, look, you couldn't ask for it more on a silver platter for them. You got the Suns coming in. Yep, that's tough. But, and I got to be honest, man, going into the weekend, I'm I'm thinking about all the season ticket holders and people that just happen to be it. But can you imagine going last night and going tonight and leading into the weekend, you lose both at home. Yeah. How the fans would feel leaving tonight, just rolling in. Uh, whatever the bars are around there, be open. Have specials. Take, yeah. have mercy, would you please? I might even just roll down to see. Hug a Kings fan, huh? Hug a Hug Kings, a Kings fan. fan. I, might, I might go down to Caesar Chavez Park tonight with a cooler full of beers and a couple of lawn chairs, and just as people are leaving, just hey, come sit down. Yeah, you also might not. I might, I might not. I yeah. might not. Yeah. What if I went down there with a cooler, like a couple cases of beer, the dog? They could be busy. I think I would be busy too. You think people come sit down, crack a beer open? Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk about your feelings. Let's talk about our feelings. I think at least five people would you think stop at least by. five. Yeah, that's a good number. If I was sitting across the street from Golden One after the game and the Kings, well, Kings, without advertisement, like, no you advertisement put it on social, you're nope. just out there. I'm just out there. I think there. people would show up. I think I'd get, I would walk by and go, I need to do something. Here. Cooler in front of me, maybe four lawn chairs around. I'm sitting in the, sitting in one of them. Got Gracie in my lap, just chilling. We got those guys playing the drums by the Doco sign. Yeah. <laughs> I got a sign up. Need a beer? I'm here. Yeah. King's Gear gets a beer. Because, you know, I don't want, like, sit here. I don't want a rando guy on K Street rolling and being like, I need a beer. Well, what? Was there a game? Like, no, do this for Kings fans. So you got to be, you got to have some sort of King's Gear on to prove you were there. Or to, I'll accept a ticket stub. Just roll in. Hey. Who has the host? Have a. Who has the what? Ticket stuff. Oh. I'll tell you. Dirty. QR code. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you take QR have code. Have yourself a, what would I do? You know, I want to get expensive. Keystone Light. Pabst. You Miller. Freedom. Miller High Life. It's the champagne of beers. Maybe I'll have some, you know what? Zima. I'll, Zima. I have, Arnold's and James. I have one bottle of Zima in my fridge at home. I don't even know how it From got what there. what year? I, exactly. Maybe I'll have a cooler of beer, but what if the what if the kids want to talk? I'll have a cooler of root beers too. Yeah, that's Capri beer. Sons. That's beer. Oh, Capri Suns. You ever do the thing where you put the straw in and you blow as hard as you can into the Capri Sun, and then with the straw, and then you let it go, and and the whole like half the Capri Sun just squirts in your mouth. That's the only way to do it. Oh, okay, that was just me. No, no, that is really the best way yeah. to do it. All right, we'll take a break. <laughs> when we come back, I do the same with beer. Yeah, safer out. <laughs> now I'm thinking about like a beer flavored Capri Sun, and that does not sound great at all. Although I'll bet you there's a beer out there that you could pour a Capri Sun in and it would actually taste better than the original beer. Yeah, fruity beer. When we come back, safe or out time. How will the uh, Giants do on this roadie? And Shohei Otani, and that continues, and so much more. Then we have standings watch at the top of the hour. It's Carmichael Davis, Jason Ross, it's Gracie, uh, the puppy, and it's uh, Kyle. We're right back. What's the missing piece for the 49ers? Which names will they add during free agency? Whether it's in-season or off-season, the coverage never stops. Get the latest 49ers news on Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. I love this time of year when the azaleas begin to bloom and the singing birds' sweet dawn chorus remind us that blue skies and sunshine are at hand. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. In sports, the definition for the word master is one who's achieved a high degree of skill, and that will be on display in the highly anticipated golf tournament. In the furniture business, a master is a highly skilled craftsman, an artist even, whose work is coveted by those who appreciate design, quality, and durability. John Keyes was the mastermind of Naturewood Home Furnishings. 
He knew that you wanted your home to reflect your personal style, whether that was a plain coffee table or a masterpiece for you to enjoy forever. That's why when you walk into Naturewood Home Furnishings, you'll find the largest and best selection of the highest quality home furnishings in Northern California. Masterful. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Hello, I'm Frank Cockrell with Retirement Security Centers with a weekly economic update. With the college basketball championships in the rearview mirror, all eyes were on the Consumer Price Index report and the results were higher than forecast. CPI rose 3.5% in March, showing inflation to be more persistent than forecast. The CPI measures the changes in prices up or down in a given period. Housing remains a large part of the continued cost increases. Subtracting shelter inflation is actually at the Fed's target. The silver lining is that wage inflation has outpaced CPI inflation. While workers can purchase more goods, is the wage inflation creating cost headwinds for goods and services? According to Investopedia, the answer is yes. If the cost of humans in processing goods and services is increases, companies charge more for these goods and services. While increased wages increase buying power, they also put pressure on supply to keep up. Increased wages can lead to demand for leisure activities, for example. Increased leisure activities can reduce the quantity of labor at any given time, which could have an effect on supply. How might this affect you or your family? Please go to frankoftheradio.com to schedule an appointment, watch videos, and receive market updates. I'm ready to help you start your journey so you can define your future. Frank Cockrell is a registered representative of Lincoln Financial Advisors Corporation, a broker dealer and member SIPC and registered investment advisor. Retirement Security Centers is not an affiliate of Lincoln financial advisors. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Broncos sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. In the Folsom Auto Mall, you can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and County. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. Golf.com's Alan Bastable offers eight sneaky ways for stubbornly average players to break 80. First, play sensible tees. Hitting seven and eight irons into greens instead of hybrids give chances at fours and threes. Check the par. There's no shame in doing so on a par 70 course. Three, check the forecast. A day after rain can mean soft greens. Four, avoid big numbers. It's not the bogeys that will derail a 79. It's a couple of bigger scores. Five, you got to believe. Give yourself a pep talk and temper the feelings of gloom. Six, keep like-minded company. If you're a grinder, play with fellow grinders or play with music or gamble if that's your game. Seven, a little luck helps. Even tour players recognize luck. Eight, don't obsess over, well, breaking 80. You're going to know if you have a good round going, so have your partner keep score. At the 18th tee, ask where you stand as it may affect the way you approach the hole. Sounds simple, huh? Now go out and do it and have some fun. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Safe or out? It's time to go around baseball. Three pitches, three swings. It's safe or out on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. All right. Safe or out? We'll have a Masters update. Well, actually, we'll have several Masters updates throughout the show. In the meantime, we welcome Kyle in for the very first time today to read us the questions. Safe or out? Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay, that's where you're used to start reading. All right. Okay. Question one, safe or out? At the end of their six-game Florida road trip, that's three against the Rays, three against the Marlins, the San Francisco Giants will win at least four games. Out. <laughs> out. Uh, I would say more like they'll lose four games, uh, especially since they're playing three against the Rays. They probably, eh, I'll I'll give them. Let's see, two, three. I'll give them a three and three. I'll be okay. I'll be optimistic. I'll, I'll say they take the Rays take two or three. Now nah, I'll give. Nah, I can't do that. Sorry. No, they they lose two or three to the Rays. They lose two or three to the Marlins. I know they've got at least one more game in there with. Uh... The with Nationals? Snell, but oh, I don't Snell, know sorry. if uh, Webb is – he's got to be in one of those as well. So, yeah. um, at some point, I think those two guys will really lock in to make them a, a tougher team. Yeah, team, that's a good one-two punch. 
don't know. Right now, they're just not playing that great. So, yeah, it, it, it feels like that's an out. I don't know that they'll get that many on that trip. Even though the Marlins have the worst record in baseball? Yeah, but look at who they've played so far. Hey, I actually don't know who they've played so far. It, just, sound, it just sounds like a really good thing to say. They Once. beat the Yankees. That is true. Right. Like that's, Once. Then that, it sounds good. Like, well, look at who they – well, let's see who they've played so far. They've played the Pirates, one of the hottest teams in baseball. Uh, the Angels. Ooh, wow. So the two teams yeah. that every year win every game and then finish at with the 100 yes. losses. They started out, they, yeah, they, they got swept by the Pirates in four, swept by the Angels in three. Cardinals took two or three from them. Uh, Yankees took two or three from them. Okay. All right, I'll give the Giants a split. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. You can do that. This is America. Yeah. So right. 19th Amendment. Yes. I don't even know what that is. Number, good. number two, please. Safe. Out. On Thursday, the four win and ten loss Houston Astros lost thirteen to three and got swept by the Kansas City Royals. Yeah. Safer out, the slumping Astros will ultimately turn their season around and finish with more than ninety wins. I think they'll finish with with ninety or more. Well, you said more than ninety. Fine. I, yeah, they're just too good. They 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 are def- they are definitely slumping right now. There's no doubt about it. And. A lot of that's injury as well with both Verlander and Valdez on the IL. But just when you look at that lineup, you look at that staff, and, and the staff is not as strong as the lineup, but uh, it, I have a hard time believing the Astros, who regularly are in the mix. I have a hard time believing they're not going to win 90. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason they've made the American League Championship Series, which is incredible. Like, what, seven straight years? Yeah. So that's incredible, but that's a pretty tough start to overcome. Uh, but then you just look at the division. You've got the defending World Series champions in there. Uh, to what Kyle just said, the Angels off to a good start. They always do that and then, then falter. And then maybe the A's are a problem, Dave. Are we going to believe in the A's yet? <sighs> one nothing win over the – they took two or three against the World Series champs. They took two of three against the World Series champs. The A's currently are five and eight. How about that? Here they come. Matched up right with the Giants at five and eight. And I believe, if I remember correctly and have the right day, I believe I spied, was it yesterday? Was it J.P. Sears that was throwing 103? Yeah, Somebody yesterday was, he was incredible. Dear Lord. Six and a third, one hit, three walks, five strikeouts. And uh, the bullpen came in and for two and two-thirds and shut the Rangers down the rest of the way. And, and you know, hey, Jason, that's a pretty tough lineup to shut down. Yes, it is. Uh, and they did love that. Those A's. Uh, yeah, love those A's. Can't wait next year. Uh, by the way, there is a – I thought it was going to be yesterday. I have a uh, <clears throat> I have an opinion piece coming out today in the Sacramento Bee on the uh, A's moving to Sacramento. Make you sure do? You, I do. They asked me to write one, and I did. So, Which will probably piss off our, our big boss. He'll yell at me. But, uh, yeah, no, Marcos Bertone uh, actually called me up and said, hey, write what you think. And I did. I tried to do, I, I, I will say this, I did try to do the whole, um, my buddy's wife is leaving him and shacked up with me because she's going to shack up somewhere analogy. They turned it down. That's a paper or a record. Shocking. Your Sacramento Bee. But I believe that is coming out today. Number three, please. Safe or out. All right. This brings me great joy to read. Thursday, federal prosecutors detailed how Shohei Otani's interpreter, Ife Mizahara, lost over $40 million gambling with bookies and potentially took $16 million from Otani's bank accounts without his knowledge. They also have some really incriminating evidence. That's not in the question. I know. Okay. Safer out. Thursday's details confirm Otani will be completely exonerated at the end of this saga. Yeah, it's funny. It's like the interpreter said Otani had nothing to do with it. The bookie said Otani had nothing to do with it. The federal report said that Otani had nothing to do with it. Twitter. Guilty. He is guilty, bro. There's like a Venn diagram of like... (laughs) The Earth is flat. We never landed on the moon. It was actually Jason Simpson that did the murders, and Otani's innocent or uh, guilty. Like, and I, by the way, of any of those conspiracy theories, I, I will say this: I'm going to stand on the side of the tinfoil hat guys for a second. Everybody's saying Otani didn't do it. This is where I get into tricky waters here, and I don't know, but I. Other than Rome, my bucket list trip is to Japan. I love I love what Japan looks like. And the Masters. I love well, yeah. The, well, okay, the Masters is number one. 
I love what the Japan looks like. I love the food for the most part. Like, I, there's some there's some food I'm not going anywhere near, but I love the food. And one thing you hear about the Japanese culture over there, like the nicest, kindest. And, you know, you can't stereotype anything, even if it's a good stereotype. There's bad people, of course, but like the nicest, kindest people. And there's like, you know, they believe in honor and respect and the whole thing. Like, it's not a huge stretch for me to think that like this guy's best friend and interpreter isn't taking the fall. Like, I don't think that's happening. But also, dude, and I said this yesterday, Jason, I got a ping on my phone like a week ago for like $89 from JCPenney. And I asked my wife later today, first off, yes, JCPenney's exist still. What did you buy at JCPenney's for $90? Turned out Avery needed some clothes for this, this Disneyland trip this weekend. But I asked her. Now, granted, Shoei Otani and I are in different brackets by yeah. far, but bro, a hundred and something million dollars is going in and out of your bank account, and you have no idea. I find that really, I either it, that's garbage, or Shohei Otani is the most in need of a money handler mm. of anybody in world history. I think it's honestly, believe it or not, a little bit of a slice of what life is real world. Like I've been around enough people in athletics where there's some that are so incredibly aware of every single penny. Right. And everything that's happening or pinching every penny and they make millions of dollars to others, Dave, where I've known they don't even know how to write a check. Manny Ramirez is famous for, uh, he was stuffing his checks, which were each for like 280 grand. He was stuffing. They had a bunch of them stuffed and wrinkled in the back of the, the top of his locker where they put deodorants yeah. and stuff. And Manny, I, I, you're right. Yeah. There are people that just have so like that's two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I've got more of those. You do, but like, yeah. so I, I can believe it. Yes. It just seems. But if you're so aware of your own stuff, that's where it's hard to like. Yes. How do you not know? How do you not know? From the 916. Guys, Mason Miller throws 103. How about you watch the game? How about no? I, don't. I watched Mason Miller throw 103. Yeah, there you go. But I didn't know when you said Sears did. I thought maybe he yeah, did too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How about no? How about no? I, I'm not entertained by it. I'm, it's, you're lucky we're talking about it at all. We actually literally put a segment in here just for the baseball person. So it's okay if we get something. Because otherwise I wouldn't talk about it. A's baseball and A's, which, by the way, is incredibly entertaining. You can hear right here on your home of the uh, A's Sackdown Sports. Right, Jason? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we will take a break. When we come back, standings, watch, 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 watch. Also, we'll give you all the situations that are remaining. And uh, Kings are in a three-way right now. Hello. Not in a good way. We'll uh, do all that coming up next. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in ten young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there. Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. They gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love. They can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, Go to safeplacetosleep.org today. Spring savings continue at Folsom Lake Kia. Low payments, special offers, zero down deals on approval of credit. Shop your trusted Kia dealership for over 25 years and tell them DC sent you. FolsomLakeKia.com. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And 6-1, visit staples.com slash print for details. 
With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick. Sorry, kids. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 683 7713. That's 1 800 683 7733. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 683 7733. That's 1 800 683 7733. Select Quote. We shop. You save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company. And that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram and Woodland. Chad, what's going on for Ram Truck Month? We are very excited to be celebrating 75 years in business by doing what we do best, helping you get the truck you need for less. Right now, save up to 11000 off MSRP on new 2024 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cabs. And with over 500 new Rams available, you won't find a better selection in all of California. Wow, 75 years? That is amazing. It all started with my grandpa and great-grandpa's dream, and it's grown over the years to where we've had a chance to serve tens of thousands of customers and show them there's something special about Hoblet you just can't get at those big city auto mall dealerships. Come experience the difference at California's number one Ram truck dealer. Search, select, and save through their whole inventory at HobletDodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 11,000 total net savings after 5,000 factory rebates and 6,000 dealer discounts. Rebates include 2,000 Chrysler Capital bonus cash must finance through Chrysler Capital Qualify. 500 first responder bonus cash must be current member of eligible first responder association. More than five of this sold net savings. See dealer for details. Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7 30 p.m. The venue at Thunder Valley. Special guest, the elevators. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Excuse me. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Folsom Lake Kia. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. We're off to a pleasant start for your Friday. Expect to have increasing clouds this afternoon. You'll feel a bit of that southwest breeze as well. Temperatures cooler with highs today in the low 70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, your flagship station for the Beam Team. Should we light the beam? Light the beam, baby. <laughs> Good morning, Sacramento. My name is Kyle Ledbetter, and it's time for your first Masters Update. They had to finish round one this morning. Now completed, Bryson DeChambeau is in first place. 
at 7 under. 2022 Masters champion Scotty Scheffler is sitting at 6 under. And at 5 under, it's a two-way tie between Max Homa and Nikolai Hogor. Tiger Woods is currently sitting at plus one. This Masters update is brought to you by Naturewood Home Furnishings, where it's all about choices and always about quality. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. All right, hour number two. Hour hmm. number two. Michael Dave, Jason Ross, Kyle is in for Christopher Lodd. Gracie is a dog, and she is currently on the studio table drinking water, provided by award-winning Hall of Famer Pat Still. That's Hall of Fame water. We know you. Get, we know you love your dog. And uh, she is attracted to Jason. Who come here? Here's the thing: Jason's kind of like half allergic to dogs, and, uh, and half not, and half not. So Jason gave in, and I can't help it. I know, but like that's crazy. Come here, ding dong. Because here's oh, the thing: you want to play? Yeah, she does. Hey, you my mic off. Uh, mate, she does not like what you've been saying today. Apparently. I guess not. So what I have figured out here is I can put Gracie's bed on this chair that's up in the air. And unless she, you know, does a cowabunga, which uh, is possible. Yeah, she's pretty much in what we like to call air jail. Yeah. So you got to relax, dog. But if she does try to make the jump, just push the chair further away from the table. Yeah, but I'm worried she's going to try to make the jump down onto the floor wow. or she's just going to fall down. But if you hear a loud yelping, you'll know what happened. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at the standings, everybody. Coming up next, three for madness brought to you by Fire Wings. Um, it's a three-way tie, Jason. Yes. You can choose uh, to optimistically say it is a three-way tie for eighth or a three-way tie for tenth. So let's just call it a three-way tie for ninth. Okay. <laughs> we'll split the middle. It's a three-way tie for all three. The Kings, the Warriors, and the Lakers are all at 45 and 35. The Kings have gone two and two against the Warriors this year, and the second tiebreaker is conference record. The Kings have a four-game lead on the Warriors. They've got the tiebreaker. The Kings have swept the Lakers. That's it right there. It doesn't matter what you've done in conference. They'd have that tiebreaker anyway. So they hold the tiebreaker uh, over all of them. What's also interesting about this, despite the loss to, not that this would matter, uh, well, I guess it will matter. Despite the loss, the Kings do also hold the tiebreaker, would hold the tiebreaker if they beat the Suns. Correct. So they have them in in uh, um, they have them in conference record by two games. If they beat the Suns, that would be three. Wouldn't matter what happened uh, in Portland. So the Kings do control their destiny when it comes to the eight seed. If they win out, they are the eight seed. Unless Phoenix loses, not just to the Kings, but also I believe that's in Minnesota. Correct. So if the if the Suns lose two and the Kings win two again, one tonight against Phoenix they will then be the seventh seed and be hosting. So that's your standings update. Yeah, and this is the bed they made, right? I mean, there was, again, whether you pick, hey, imagine if they didn't go to 0-5 against the Pelicans. Imagine if they didn't lose to Charlotte or Detroit or Portland. But all those things did happen or blow, what, four 20-point leads this season. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of what-ifs. I think it's a season of what-ifs. And here they are with all of that down to game 81 now. Uh, but they will not be a playoff team, at least no. now. They'll be a play-in team in that road. You just wish, like, the funny thing is, like, last night, and maybe the Warriors did this, Dave, knowing that tonight's game against the Pelicans might be more difficult. But they went up to Portland and said, yeah, you know what? We're going to rest Draymond. Hey, we're going to rest Clay." Mm -hmm. And they won. They came back and won. But I also feel like, yeah, if they're 10, they're 10. Whereas if the Kings fell to 10, it would feel like... Uh, it's yes. Because they would have fallen. Yes. Warriors have been good since January. Lakers have been really good the last five weeks. Kings have not been that good. The Warriors have won nine of their last 10. The Lakers, seven of their last 10. And that's 
championship caliber experienced teams that tend to turn it on and know exactly what to do towards the end of the season. That is what they are doing. Suns, by the way, have won uh, six of their last 10 and are favored by five and a half tonight, according to Las Vegas. You know, we said that we wanted the season, if nothing else, to break ground. You know, I, I guess we can technically say it has because this will be the Kings' very first uh, appearance as a playing team. Yeah. They've never done that. No, and it may, I don't know where they will finish after 82, but if they're one of the teams that would have been, mm-hmm. that's too bad. But that's not the way it is. It is not the old format anymore. No, so. it's not. That This is where it is. And um, the only thing they have going for them is the tiebreakers you suggested. Yeah. That's what they've got going for them. Not a lot else right now. No, and the fan base is really – it's a tough time right now. And and it's weird because I'm as pessimistic as the – I'm more pessimistic. I'm definitely on the pessimistic, disappointed side. Yeah. But I do find myself when I see – because I think you can go overboard on both sides. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of overboard on – like Domas is trash. Fox has no heart. Fire McNair. Right. Look. In retrospect, with with respect to the fact, here's my here's the best defense I can mount for Monty McNair. Number one, whether it was during the summer of the trade deadline, there was just absolutely no value. There were deals out there, and you know what? Maybe in the future we're going to say, yeah, maybe it should have been Keegan and a couple of firsts for Siakam or Ananobi or whoever. Like maybe Keegan's just not going to be that guy. But that, but. Monty McNair, who's the same guy that grabbed Tyrese Halliburton at 12. He's the same guy that grabbed Keon Ellis. He's the same guy that grabbed Keegan Murray himself. He and his team deemed that that was not going to be a good value trade for the Kings, especially financially. Um, Again, I'm trying to defend him here. Uh, There was no value in the summer. There was no value uh, at the trade deadline continuity is so important when you look at most championship caliber teams, whether it's the Warriors, whether it's the Nuggets, whoever it is, Celtics, there is almost complete continuity on those teams and they just kind of add in a piece or two. I'm sure that was probably part of the thought. Let's let's run it back. Yeah, we're going to give Harrison Barnes this contract. It's not 30 million, it's 18 million. I still think that's too much, but again, you got a guy who's going to play every game, show up and is a consummate leader, blah, 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 all that. You you can I can mount whatever I understand what Monty McNair and his team were thinking. Yeah, it didn't work. Right, it didn't work. Right, it, yeah. it didn't work. So he's had a tough year, and he's going to have to make. They're going to have to make some adjustments. This yeah, summer. I, I think if you yeah to to your point, if you think about basically what I would say would be the three main moves of of new pieces. Um, you were going to be Nimi Keda and Nerlens Noel and Javale McGee pops available. Right. I personally love that deal. I thought that made a lot of sense. JaVale McGee hasn't had an impact really on that. Not at all. Uh, You get the EuroLeague MVP, Sasha. I I didn't know a lot about him, but okay. That seemed to be their quest to get him. He has been injured, but also I don't think played up to anybody's level, his own included. And then Chris Duarte was a little bit of a flyer, but if you went to rookie year, he was good. Yes. Played his best year with Sabonis. And I mean, I think there's logic behind all of it. Now, I think if you go uh, of that group and the entirety of the roster, too many people have not had as good a year as last year. I would say Monk's year has been better. Yep, and he's hurt. Um, Fox has been probably comparable. And really, you could say Sabonis, the totality of the year has been better. Yeah. But the rest of the group, I mean, hurt or not, uh, Barnes not. Um, Davion's been hot now, but I don't think the year, no. Mm-hmm. And just the... Lyle's not the same. It's just you go all the way down the list. There was a lot of guys that played better last year. At some point, you know, Kevin Herter spoke to the media yesterday, including our own Brendan Nunes, who will join us at nine, and we will explain why uh, when we get there. But Herter, Herter talked, and I thought one thing he said was quite interesting. He said he made he was looking for a doctor that would clear him and then finally made the decision to get the surgery in part that this has been bothering him for a while. It makes you wonder was was he fighting an injury this year? Was this thing because for some reason, ever since that three point contest last year, it's remember once upon a time, kids, not that long ago, uh, Kevin Herter was an absolute steal from Atlanta yeah. and couldn't miss and was on a record breaking pace. That three point contest hit, and it's been a tale of two herders. So I find that interesting. I mean, you can definitely tilt your head and go, okay, it's not all that bad, but you're a prisoner of expectation. Sure. And in this case, 
there were bigger and broader expectations. The West got better and the Kings didn't. Yeah. And and they're paying for it with a, a lateral year, basically. Yeah, at this point. So it seems. Right. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's the fragile nature of it. Like if if next week doesn't go well, you technically would have missed the playoffs. Now you're talking about seventeen of what, nineteen eighteen uh-huh. of nineteen years uh-huh. that you've missed. Yeah. Oof. That's rough. We'll take a break when we come back three for madness. Uh, we'll look at tonight's other games, pressure. We'll get back to Monty McNair. And uh, one year ago Monday, what happened? I don't know. We'll find out next. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type, GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year, all-stars and all-NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox, a breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Would you like a chance to meet Ricky Henderson, Dennis Rodman, Johnny Manziel, Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, Vlad Guerrero Sr., Dave Stewart, and our favorite Malik Monk and meet over 90 sports card dealers all in one weekend? This is your chance to do it on May 17th through the 19th at the Roseville Fairgrounds at the Sacramento Autograph Expo. You can get all the information about the show on our website at sacautographexpo.com. That's Sac- autographexpo.com Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729 or visit us at Power Copier Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. From the 916 at our text line, 916-339-1140. That's a good question. Well, it's from the 530. If they don't make it out of the plan, is the playoff streak over at one, or will they have made the playoffs two years in a row? I believe the streak's over. It is over. They yeah. didn't make the playoffs. They make the playoffs. Yeah. This the plan is not a playoff. It is not. It is the postseason, but it's not the playoffs. I guess. Yeah. Uh, from the nine one six, how about make some adjustments with the dang team you have? It's called coaching. We know we match up terrible with the Pelicans, yet we just continue to do the same. Barnes on Zion. There's options. Coach does try them. Doesn't try them, I think is what this is trying to say. Frustrated, fulsome Mike. Hey, I hear you, but what, what, what? What are we going to do? What, what, what? I'm asking, what, uh, what option? Yeah. You going to put, uh, I mean, may, start Trey Lyles in for Harrison. Um, Lyles had minutes last night. Um, As an option, just to, to that text, yeah. I, I did, I felt like they combated their size with, with, smaller guys Small, right like I, and i know they don't play len and sabonis a lot but i don't know is, with valentunas and sabonis or, or excuse me valentunas and zion are on uh, i think alex len again for what it's worth plus minus was closer to even or, yeah. or positive yeah. and i thought he defended zion okay so len was plus two yeah i mean i don't know they, i thought there were other options i will say that mm-hmm. but look i think for five games they haven't figured them out either uh harrison barnes by the way was a team low minus 18 which is the tr- tough one because he literally to the texas could not stop zion which no, i get no. but it was a night where you got harrison scoring so yeah. I, I get why they kept him in 22 5 and 4 with a steal did not turn the ball over i would take a night like that from harrison every night of the week yeah. but unfortunately um what was the other thing i wanted to say was it about len no oh yeah watching uh <laughs> every time i watch sabonis and valentinus go out it's like taking two prime ribs and slapping them together it's yeah. just a couple of sides of beef g-man called him there's like two mountain goats like just you know when they just battle their heads together it's like that's a rams that's what it looked like yeah uh all right uh kyle hello three for madness question one question one who you got tonight in the lakers grizzlies and pelicans warriors game uh i'm gonna take the lakers and i'm gonna take the warriors uh in this one i, I I'll, I'll tell you why i think uh 
Well, you know, the Lakers are playing Memphis first off. They have a lot to play for. So I'm going to go there with the Lakers. I think that's the easier one to pick. Pelicans and Warriors is interesting, but A, Warriors are at home. B, the Warriors won 9 to 10. C, the Pelicans are on the second night of a back to back. And D, I believe they have, have they, they've clinched the six, have they not? No. no. The Suns could still catch them. Yeah. Okay. That's right. So well, that even, was the scenario I was telling you before. The that's Kings right. Play them. Even uh, that being said, that's right. They're only one ahead of the Suns. Uh, that being said, even with something to play for, uh, I'm going to go with the Warriors on that one. And just for funsies, let's see what Vegas thinks about that. Uh, I would imagine the Warriors are favored here, and uh, they are by four and a half. So Warriors okay. are favored by four and a half. I'm going to go Lakers, and uh, I'm going to go Warriors, unfortunately, in this case. Yeah, um, I'll go Lakers as well, though I think Memphis has played them pretty tough this year, even with their record. And I don't know about Anthony Davis. I, I guess he'll play. Who knows? Um I'll, I'll take the Pelicans. I really was impressed by them yesterday, and maybe that's more of them against the Kings. And I think Ingram's playing tonight. Yeah. He was really close. I mean, he was working out pretty hard before the game, so that might give him a little boost. Who knows? Um, they've obviously figured out a little bit how to play without him, but uh, I'll, I'll take a flyer on the Pelicans. Number two, please. Question two. Is the pressure on Monty McNair this offseason? Yeah, it is. But – Monty picks and chooses. Remember, right before the Sabonis Halliburton trade, it was he doesn't do anything. And then, oh, my God. I will. Okay, I didn't know you were going to do that. That make a move. I think everything's on the table. I think everything's on the table. I don't think anyone's untradeable. And no, that doesn't mean I think they're going to trade Sabonis or Fox, or they should trade Sabonis or Fox. But I'm going to take a good, long, hard look at this team and, and think, are there available things that we can do to make this a championship contender? Uh, and if they're not, then something of value pops up. There you go. There's uh, There are some limitations. Obviously, Malik Monk is looming out there. Um, you got two max guys in Fox and Sabonis. Uh, but they got to they gotta try to figure something out because you can't run this back. You run this back next year, and at, at least the beginning of the year is going to be an absolute crap show with the fans. Uh, they would have to like start out like 21 and 8 and be like, oh, he knows what he's talking about. But mm-hmm. They're just setting themselves up at any point. And I don't know what Vex thinking. I don't think anybody's on the hot seat. But I would say this going into next year. Yeah. Seats warmer. Yeah, absolutely. I know you said last night, you know, looking at social media goes from everywhere like Mike Brown, Monty, they gotta right. go. I, I would think that's crazy talk I right agree. now, but I also think you're getting closer to that kind of talk. Sure. Um, and saying they've got to go is different than it's going to happen, right? Like that's that could be fan speak, but Look, ex- one, expectations, what you achieved last year. If it is a play-in and an exit, so it's not a playoff, yeah, a lot more attention, a lot more pressure. Well, even if it is a playoff appearance, and I don't assume a very long run, um, there should be pressure. This team has to get better. It isn't enough. Yes. And if that's where they want to get to, which I'm assuming they do, and, you know, Mike Brown's had a shorter run at this than Monty. It wouldn't, you know, Monty's been around a little bit now. It's not. You know, has wouldn't be unfair if they did something crazy like that, but it's not the time. It's not the time. I don't think so. so give yeah. them another opportunity. I think overall, there's been a lot of positives. They've drafted pretty well. That's the other thing is I really want them to make it so they can execute that draft pick and get rid of that. That's the other thing that we're not really talking about enough too is making this postseason the the playoffs. Uh, that that's it's gonna, important for multiple reasons. That's important for multiple reasons. Um. You, you you gotta yeah you you don't you would really 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 like to give that pick up yeah uh by the way uh somebody on the tech line and, and let me just somebody in the youtube chat i'm seeing this a lot yeah well uh demont sabonis is a max player he's not a max player yet he is 100 percent a max player and if i'm not trying to be well uh, this is going to sound like i'm being a d-bag i'm sorry but it's true if you don't think demontis sabonis is a max player you need, you need to put the video games down. There is not a team in the NBA that would have the room that would not give him a max deal. Now, you can say he can't lead you to a championship. You can say uh, he, he needs to get a better bag around the he, – you can say you, – uh, that's all right. fair. I'm talking specifically about what the Kings paid DeMontis Sabonis. Right now, DeMontis Sabonis, according to most websites, uh, is number six on the MVP tracker. Behind him, Anthony Davis, Jalen Brunson, Devin Booker, Rudy Gobert. They all make more money than him. And then you look at who's ahead of him. Tatum, Alexander, Giannis. Those are all obviously max guys, too. Mm -hmm. 
if you're a top 20 player in the NBA, you're all, unless you're on a rookie deal, you're a max player. Right. That's just how it works. Yeah. And any team in the NBA, if the Kings said, hey, uh, we want a salary dump, we'll trade you, uh, and they had the room, we'll trade you DeMontis Sabonis and his massive $203 million contract for whatever you can take into your cap and give us back. We don't even care. Every single team that could do that would 100% of the teams that could do that would do that. So say what you want about Sabonis. Don't say he's not a match player. Yeah, the funny thing is, was it a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, we were debating whether or not he had the greatest, he's had the greatest single season in Sacramento Kings history. Yeah. Yes. The great, yeah. Well, what does that do in the playoff? Well, dude, we're not me, talking about that, though, right? And, and and why is it? And I understand that when you make that kind of money, yeah. and you're that good, that when things aren't going well, you should be a focal point, right? And Demontis Sabonis has struggled lately, and he ain't perfect, right? But that puts him then in the company of who else do we say that about? Uh, Dame Lillard, Devin Booker, like gr- Luca, great player. They won a title. They can't win a title. No. Well, until they do, right? And maybe Sabonis never will. Maybe Luca never will. Maybe Dame and pick your player, Booker, uh, whoever. Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, sure. Like, there's lots of great players that haven't won a title. Give me five DeMontis Sabonis. I mean, we. Yeah. Not a perfect player. No, no one is. No. He's got his flaws. Give me five of them. Give me but a guy. He's a really good player. Give, give me a big guy you can run the offense through that is fifth in assist. Yeah. That's going to lead the league for the second straight year in rebounds. That leads the league in double doubles. That leads the league, I believe, in triple doubles. That um, gets regularly cracked in the face and still plays uh, in a contract year, an adjustment year. Every game. Every single game. Broken hand, blood coming. Like, DeMontis Sabonis is not your problem. That's, that doesn't mean he's perfect. Right. He's not the problem. Yeah. That is that is like having a gunshot wound to the face and focusing on the mosquito bite you have on your, your calf that yeah. itches really badly. Right. Like, like right now, every, we would say this, like this has been a show reference. Everybody would take Victor Webanyama today. Everybody. Everyone. No one turns him down. What if eight years from now, he's never won a title? Well, I mean, he's great, but he can't win a title. Trash. That'll happen to him. He's trash. Yeah, he'll still be a great player, right? Right. Of 100%. Yeah. Uh, number three, please. Question three. All right, so one year ago Monday, the Kings played their first home playoff game since 2006 against the Warriors. What was your guys' favorite memory from that Saturday morning? Can I say it's a tie between two? Because I don't know which one to pick, Jason. The Kings coming out of the tunnel to open and the crowd going absolutely berserk and the final buzzer. Yeah. And the crowd going absolutely berserk and we just beat the Golden State Warriors. I don't know how to pick between those two, but they both still give me goosebumps. Yeah, they're, they're, those are the correct answers. I would say I'll throw one more just to add on to what great day that was. I, there was genuine fear for me coming in like, oh, man, are there going to be like 60-40 Kings fans, 70-30? Well, yeah. It was 98% to 2%. Like you would see, hey, there's – you could literally go, oh, in two oh, – look, there's a blue shirt. There's a Warrior fan, and there's one. Right. But. And there's one. It's not like, oh, that whole row. Oh, that section. Oh, my gosh. Every, it was so Sacramento dominant. Kings fans showed up, kept their tickets. Yeah. And that, along with everything you said, too, is just awesome moment. <sighs> Sabonis has paid $30 million to rebound and screen. He's <laughs> fifth in assists. He is fifth. And still scoring 20. And still scoring 20. And the only guy... In the NBA, with his type of volume as far as field goal attempts that has better efficiency, is Giannis out of the Kumpo. That's it. And he's still averaging 20. It's not 30. Right. He's still averaging 20. He's fifth in assists. We're not even talking Among about centers. Amongst the world <laughs> of the NBA. Yeah. Soak your heads, man. My God. Like, seriously. Get in the shower, right? Clothes on or off. I don't care. I'm not there. Do not turn on the hot. Leave it on cold and soak your heads. Do it. And if you do have it on hot, you might worry about the energy bills coming from that. PG&E, smud. 
Go to American Energy and switch to electric this spring and save big with American Energy. Stay ahead of those spiking energy bills this summer with up to nine grand of rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. Well, yeah, it might keep you cool in the winter, but it only keeps you cool. That's the argument. That's the Sabonis. Well, it just, you know, the AC works perfectly. All it does is keep me cold, though, and set screens. Set the screen. American Energy is providing huge rebates from SMUD, as well as spring specials. And you can install one of many incredibly efficient AC options available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year-round all-electric with American Energy. Let American Energy perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy, making the uncomfortable comfortable. When we get back, we have a master's update for you. And I have an update on uh, the Kennedy moment question I was asking me yesterday. I want to... Narrow that down a little bit. We'll get off basketball for just a second. We'll be back on the Kings at 8 o'clock right here on Checkdown Sports. Set the screen. Can Mike Brown build on last season's Coach of the Year award? Can the Kings exceed 48 wins? We will be better prepared to make the run that we expect to run come next playoff. Tune in to every Kings game this season on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Bonnie. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR Ray 3 Weather Center. We're off to a pleasant start for your Friday. Expect to have increasing clouds this afternoon. You'll feel a bit of that southwest breeze as well. Temperatures cooler with highs today in the low 70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCR Ray 3 News and the KCR Ray 3 app. Once upon a time, you could get a heater tune-up or an air conditioner tune-up for just $59 or both for $89. Not too hot, not too cold. Just right. I thought you were going to read me a bedtime story. Go to sleep now. Bonnie.com. License 696355. For a precision crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at AcuraOfStockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraOfStockton.com. Seems like all this artificial intelligence stuff stirs up the age-old debate of man versus machine. Hi, it's Dan from the Good Feet Store, and let me ask you, would you let a robot cut your hair? Would you rely on an app to teach a kid to ride a two-wheeler? Let's face it, some things require the human touch. People come to us seeking a solution to foot, leg, and back pain after trying all kinds of things recommended by in-store machines or website blurbs. An impersonal, generic approach to solving a problem that's unique to you. No wonder they usually don't work. At the Good Feet Store, you'll meet with an art support specialist who will take the time to learn about your needs, your feet, your lifestyle, and then fit you from over 300 models and sizes of art supports designed for pain relief, better balance, and more comfort. See what we can do for you with a free fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one near you. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. Bleed black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. All right, let's get into uh, the Masters a little bit. Let's do a little palate cleanser. By the way, how are you doing on that TV over there? Terribly. We're trying to find – how many How many people does it take? We're stuck in vapor lock now. We've got it on the screen we can't get out of. Yeah, we, we – we, and apparently we don't have the remote. The engineers finally came in right after the show, and they put in the fire stick I brought in so we could, we could watch Masters coverage. And – they did that, but left it on the cable channel. 
And oh, you know what I could do? Hmm. Well, I could have done it now, but we can't. We can't even turn it off now. Right? It's stuck. Here's what I could do. I could figure out which one it is, and I could unplug that TV, plug it back in. I feel like that would reset yes. it. Okay. And then I could take the cable HDMI out and put in the Fire Stick HDMI in that spot, and then it's already up. That's how you change the input. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay. Next break. Uh, it's easier said than done. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> um, Fix oh. it. Nope. Here. Dog. No. No. We also brought in my dog today, and by we, I mean me. And uh, she keeps... Jason just can't keep himself away from puppy. But also Jason is allergic to uh, puppies and shrimp. So we're trying to... Shrimp puppies. Well, guess what I brought in today, Jason? <laughs> Ooh, a puppy sandwich? Shrimp. Did you bring in shrimp? No, I was just oh, making okay. a joke. Oh, I, okay. Because, yeah. No microwave shrimp. But, uh, oh, no. It's like a second cup just of salmon. Just egg salad. Yeah. Egg salad, salmon, broccoli. Yeah. Don't do it. Uh, let's go to the Masters, everybody. And by that, I mean, I, I wish. Uh, and also, uh, we should say, Vern Lundquist, mm -hmm. 40 years retiring. Oh. Yeah. And your oh, wife. Uh, it was a bit of an, there was no real way around this bit of an unfortunate situation because of the weather delay yesterday yeah everybody had to go out you know two two and a half hours late they had they they had the weather issues super windy uh tiger goes out yesterday i think he shot i think he shot a one under or was he even like one of those he was one under when he had to stop there you go he's one under when he had to stop i believe he finished the round at even or no he finishes around he bogeyed 18 but he had to finish it this morning. Yeah, he's out. He just he's already started a second round. So poor Tiger is. Gonna, he's the last guy to finish yesterday. He's the first guy out today. You got to finish your first round, which I think they had what four or five holes to go. So now the dude's going to do what twenty three holes today. And you could they were already saying I was watching this morning, and you could already see uh, when I say this morning around five. And the you know Dottie Pepper and all the announcers were like, yeah, he's a little stiffened up here. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he works that out. It's and, and See if you can make the cut, yes, and that's the thing. Really, uh, not that he doesn't want to win, but if he makes the cut, that would be the uh, that would be the record. The projected cut is plus two. Okay, so he's and, close. Yeah, and yes, and Tiger Woods uh, just finished up one uh, hole number one. Shot a 73, one over yesterday. He is one over, so he is one stroke inside the cut. Uh, as he of right yesterday, now. hole number one. Yes, he did. Uh, Jeff, good morning. Hey, good morning, Dave. Hey, I think he finished one under, but that's not what I called. Hey, Dave, I was at the game last night, uh -huh. and um, I think it's really clear what is going on with the Kings. And it, it, it's, I mean, it's obvious to me they are missing Herder and Monk so much, like no duh, right? But the things that Herder did, I mean, I know we had a love-hate relationship with him with his play on the court, but when he didn't have the ball, he distracts the defense so much of the other team. They have to account for him. It opens up other things with the bonus and Fox, you know, and then Monk, of course, is Monk. He's just electric. And so basically, we have a six-man rotation with those guys, or those are like kind of like our six starters. We're missing a third of our team. So what do you expect? Of course our offense is going to dip. Of course it is. Yeah, our defense is a little bit better. We're putting, you know, Keon Ellis and Duarte. We're playing those guys and those good defenders. But they don't make up for the lack of offensive reduction that we got from Herter and Monk, even if Herter wasn't showing up on the stat sheet every night. But, you know, the other teams had to account for him. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thank Thanks. you. I don't disagree with what Jeff's saying per se. Mm -hmm. I would just simply add, let's not blanket over the fact that they had Monk and Herder for almost the entire year with a bunch of those terrible losses. Like yeah. this Monk and Herder are not the, they are better with Monk and Herder. That's not a question. I fully believe they're now one and four in their last five. You can add at least one, if not two wins, at least one or two wins. If, if Malik Monk is playing. Yeah. I think their offense looks different with those guys on the floor. Now last night was a better offensive game. But I think Sabonis is the one that's been impacted the most. We talked about it earlier about how much there's like a sneaky impact of Malik Monk and Sabonis playing together the yes. way they they uh, play together. And then Herder does space the floor. Yes. And that helps open up things for other people. We, even if he's not shooting well, there's more of a, I think when other teams scheme and game plan, they go, okay, that's the guy we're not leaving. 
And so Herder is a, a floor. Like they leave Keon Ellis. Now he may, he's been making some threes. But they still leave him. But they leave him. As we uh, wrap up this segment, uh, there was a moment last night that was uh, uh, funny yet unfortunate. I'll let Kevin Harlan tell you. Pelicans hold on, driving into Murray. Somebody's throwing something on the floor. 46 seconds to go, and a whistle blew. It's a chicken wing. Why would someone throw something that good out on the floor? <laughs> it's crispy. Yes. It's warm. Yes. Yes. And I almost had to go out the. I'm so hungry. I uh, hear your stomach over here growling. What's that guy? I hope he eats it. <laughs> save it for, put it in that little heater over there. 46 seconds to go. It's Murphy with the ball and Fox the quick fox. Is that true? Yes. Is that what it was? Yeah, there was actually, they threw two chicken wings. Because, yeah, Moke even made it, you know, from where we sit in radio. We yeah. can't. We couldn't tell at all. It was like something was thrown on the court. I would not have guessed a chicken wing. Yeah, I've, that's a first. Yeah. We now have the puke game and the chicken wing game. Yeah. And that was with about 46 seconds left uh, in the first or in the fourth. Excuse well, King's me. King's been looking for some wing help. I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I guarantee it wasn't. All right. It wasn't. Crazy. Uh, nice job. High five. Oh, One bread and Malaysian curry. Yeah. Nobody throws that wing. Nope. Nobody puts wingy in a corner. We'll take a break. <laughs> when we come back. Uh, we'll get into the show. A. Otani report a little bit. Uh, and is Tom Brady really opening the door to a comeback? We have audio on this. We'll let you be the judge, but the opportunity, whether you're a Brady fan or not, if you're just a football fan to see Tom Brady leading a team Raider fan down the field, putting together one of his signature drives. It makes me want to put together a signature drive. Mm. 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 All right, in the future. So when I make the transition, you got to wait for me to say, it makes me want to put together one of my signature drives at Hoblet. And then as soon as I say the client, it, then boom, you hit the music. It makes the transition that much better. I got you, dude. You got me? All right. We're talking uh, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, Ed Woodland, Hoblet, Dodge. Ram Truck Month. Very excited to be celebrating 75 years in the business. And what better way to celebrate, okay, than helping you find the hard-to-find HD Ram you've been looking for for less. Right now, save up to eight grand off MSRP on the new 2024 Ram 2500 Tradesman Crew Cabs. And with California's biggest selection of Ram trucks, you're sure to find the truck you need. It all started with Chad Hoblet's grandma and grandpa. Their dream has grown over the years to where they've had the chance to serve tens of thousands of customers and show them that there is something special about Hoblet. You just can't get it. Those big city automobile dealerships go experience the difference of California's number one ramp truck dealer. Search, select and save through their whole inventory at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet period. We're right back. Raider fan. How would you feel Tom Brady was quarterback? We'll talk about it next. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. Ooh, ma. What was that? That is business phone bliss with the UMA cloud phone system. It handles all our voice, video, and messaging needs. You sound very calm. I am. UMA has everything I need to run my business more efficiently, like virtual receptionist, call routing and video conferencing. And it starts at just $19.95 per month per user, plus taxes and fees. UMA. Nice. Find your business calm at UMA.com slash radio. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger. Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done.
celebrate Sacramento River Cats baseball during our 25th anniversary season. Pick your favorite weekly promotion, giveaway game, or theme night, and join the fun at Sutter Health Park. Stick around post game every Friday and Saturday night as we light up the sky with the brightest fireworks in town. For a full promotion schedule and to buy tickets, visit rivercats.com. We'll see you there. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, new dog treatment sensors, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Slightly Stupid. Live in concert. Saturday, April 27th, 7.30 p.m., the venue in Thunder Valley. With special guest, Fortunate Youth. For tickets, visit ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Slightly Stupid Live. I'm Craig Ashton of the Injury Law Firm of Ashton and Price. Whether you've been injured on a bicycle, as a pedestrian, in a slip and fall, auto, Uber, Lyft, or big rig accident, you need Ashton and Price in your corner. When you call Ashton and Price, there's no chat bot telling you to hit three for accounting. You're greeted by a real live person who will immediately transfer you to an experienced attorney. The consultation's free, and there's never a fee until you win. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. The only place in the morning to get your sports fix. Live and local. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. one 800 920 We take your phone calls. Dwayne, good morning. How are you, brother? Good, my man. How are you? Um, I mean, I'm good. You know, I'm good on a good day, good on a bad day. But I feel like it's a bad day for the Kings, man. I, I just feel like that's the end of the road. I, I don't feel like they even win the play-in. If they get into a playoff series, I mean, it could be sweet time uh, without Herter and Monk. But honestly, I want to go back to the trade deadline. That's that's where we need to look at because this ownership, this management, they didn't make the moves. They knew where they were deficient, and they just did, they ran it back. And now it's not looking good, but, you know, they do whatever they want, and the fans just kind of got to deal with it. Um, you know, last night they were running Zion at the point. When teams go long on the Kings, there's guys on the Kings bench you can't even put in, like the little point guard from Baylor. He's a defensive guy, but he's too little for today's NBA. So I think you all look at trading him, but I really think you got to go back to the deadline because they need to go back to the blueprint when the Kings were good, when they had Weber, they had Bibby, they had a tough Bobby Jackson. You know what I mean? They're missing all that. They're not tough on defense. When they need a stop, not only do they not get a stop, the other team gets a dunk or a layup. So their, their principles on defense aren't there. And, you know, it's just – they're lacking in too many areas, man. So I just feel like they should have gotten better this year, and they stat, they stood pat, and I feel sorry for the fans. So I just want to know what you guys think about that. Well, great day, hey, hold on. Before you hang up, you still there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, okay. okay. So I would say a couple of things, and Jason, feel free to jump in. Number one, uh, number one, a lot of what you said, uh, it's not just I agree with it. It's factual. Like, they are lacking. They did not make moves at the trade deadline. Um but when you say go back to the trade deadline, here's the question I have in my head. How do we know what was available? How do we know, you know, like you said, well, we should trade Davion Mitchell, but I always say G other GMs get paid too. If we, if you don't think Davion Mitchell has the value requisite to, to stay with us, how are we, gonna, how is he going to have value to another team? Maybe there's somebody, but I guess my question would be the one thing we don't know. We don't know what was out there for Monty McNair. You know what I'm saying? I would say that that would be my first thing. Second thing, 
you said let's go back to the the glory days, right? And I I don't disagree with that at all. I thought this would be appropriate to bring up. Uh, a lot of us forget the first year the Kings were in the playoffs. Uh, they took the Jazz to five games. That was before it was a seven game series. They lost. Uh, the second year they were in the playoffs, which by the way they would be this year more than likely. They took the Lakers to five games and they lost. So in a weird way, there are some similarities between the Adam and Kings process and the uh, what's going on right now, Jason. So I, I yeah. that, Dwayne, that's all I'm saying. Can, can I chime in on that? Yeah, yeah, of course. So it was a tougher game back then. Way tougher. Bunch of tough guys. Flagrant fouls didn't exist. So, you know, the Kings were way tougher back then. And the teams that are tough like that these days or at least have a couple guys out there who are going to get pissed off at guys when I play defense or push somebody around, take a hard foul. You know what I mean? Um, that that goes a long way. And the Pelicans actually are a good example of that with those long guys and they got some tough guys. And, you know, that I just think it was a different game back then. So if you bring some of that back, you have an edge, especially in the playoffs. And especially for Sabonis, because watch out, man. If they make a playoff series, man, that guy's numbers are going to go down, man, because everything ratchets up. His finesse game isn't going to play out in the playoffs, and it never does, man. You guys have a great day. You too, Dwayne. Thank you. It's a good call. I don't disagree with everything. You know what's fun? I've, you've done this long time. I've done this long enough to remember the calls back in yeah. 97, 98, uh -huh. or 98, 99, 2000, yeah. Yeah. 2001. You can't win a championship with Chris Webber as your best player. Yep. This team isn't. It, it was funny. He was like toughness and defense. Like they weren't. They were not talked about as a good defensive team. Doug was. Right. Doug we, was. There's two things we remember. Peja can't guard anybody. Right. We remember Doug's. Rick toughness. Adelman coaches offense. We remember Chris Webber's hip check in yeah. the Utah series. Dude, they were. Are you kidding me? Vladi was like a, a lubed up cylinder that a hot dog was sliding through. That's what people would say, whether it was right, right. or wrong. Right. It's just some of the similar things. Now, again, I'm not. I, I don't disagree with a lot of what Dwayne said, but you know, it's also, it's uh, look, I think we all play armchair GM. Dave, I don't remember. Did the Warriors make a move at the deadline? No. Did the Lakers? I don't think so. No. They just played better basketball. The they King added Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, the buyout. So they didn't even get, they just got him on the buyout. Hey, don't count um, on the host, man. <laughs> just let us lie. The, uh, Kings didn't last year. It worked this year. I, again, I would have liked to see them add somebody. Yes. But what I also don't think it was a very active deadline. But opposed to last year, last year was very active. Right. I don't. I don't. But, I don't know. Again, I just. By the way, just because I say I don't know what was available for Monty, that's yeah. not a full throated defense. Maybe there was stuff available that he yeah. were like, oh my god, yeah. How did you not do that? Like, I don't know. Honestly. This summer, as much as it kind of makes me shiver a little bit, I'm going to go back to a, a conversation we had in the preseason when it happened. I can't shake the fact that as much as it kind of the bile comes up in the back of my yeah. mouth, and I'm not talking Draymond, might have looked a little harder to sign Dylan Brooks on this team. Yeah. Dylan Brooks would be a – that is the type of fit on this particular team that would be very, very interesting. Yeah. He's he's a clown, but – uh he will get in your face. Right. He's a little nuts. But he's your clown. He's your clown, yeah. and he loves to play defense. I'll do an early prediction. If Monty has a busy offseason, let's just say it does like five moves, uh -huh. it'll be received well. Without without it even playing. You're 100% What correct. if they get 10 games worse because of the moves? Well, they were really busy. They were active. Yeah. They could get 10 games better. They could be the same. You just don't know. But sometimes the perception is, oh, they were busy. They, they're working hard on this. Well, it's not always the way it works. Back to Jeff. Uh, it says different Jeff here. Hello, different Jeff. Good morning. A different Jeff. <laughs> Good morning, though, Dave. I got to pay you a compliment. I've been an admirer of yours and Jason for decades. That's how long I've been listening to your show well, or that, shows. Well, you're yeah. the right it, Jeff. Yeah, you're the, the yeah. The other Jeffs are the different Jeffs. He's the right yeah. Jeff. And we'll all be old together, Jeff. Thank you for the compliment. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate to say that people think that teams need to be grown overnight. It doesn't happen that way. You start looking over uh, uh, how a team grows and modifies and changes and modifies. It takes about five or six years before you become a solidified playoff team. And so we found out this year, Keegan is not the third option. Monk is. We need a big up in the front with the, to uh, go with Sabonis because – he is extremely dependable. He, you can write him in for 10 points, 10 assists, 10 rebounds. 
you can't get that anywhere. So I don't care what people keep saying. You're finding out a lot of the weaknesses because of these deficiencies. And I wish I could talk longer, but I've got to make it to work. And I just wanted to make sure to say hello to you and Jason. Hey, real quick, before you go, real quick, before you go, thank you for the call. What is that sound in the background? My car. What? What is this? It's going bing, um, and we can't get over um, it. Like, we were dancing to it. Is um, that a turn signal? No, it's uh, my electric car telling me uh, I'm going in reverse. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pay hey, attention. Jeff, stay safe. <laughs> Different in real Jeff. Bong. Bong. Well, it was a nice rhythm to it. Yeah, that's just going to throw a, a, a good call, Jeff. Yeah. Although I was very much paying attention to the bonging. Uh, Steven. Or is it Stefan? Good morning. Hey, good oh, morning. Oh, that no, Steven? It's, it's that Steven. It's, it's the Steven. It's me. Yeah, it's not different Hi. Steven. It's OG Steven. Yeah. No, it's not the other Steven. It's the. The. The Steven. Uh, good morning. The Steven. <laughs> good morning, boys. Uh, Jason, I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, how many different sports have you actually called? Uh, play by play for? Uh, no, that's... like called, like play by play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess play by play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's <laughs> no, see Jason, here. I'm sorry. not play by play. Uh, play by play. Uh, let me see. Correct. I don't know the answer to that. Football, basketball, <laughs> soccer, uh, baseball. I guess four. Four. Wow. I think four. Okay. What is your most memorable call that you like? You think yeah, you could think about every day like that? I remember that wow. call. That was my fa- <laughs> that was my favorite call I have ever done. And no, I'm not talking about the Boston Celtics, even though I know you're a closet Boston Celtics. Yeah, fan. long time Celtics voice. And I give my personal top three, and then you tell me. Whoa. Obviously, no, I, there's a top. Okay, my Carmichael Dave's top three Jason Ross calls. All right, coming in at number three. Wow. Okay. Wow. Coming in. That's that's okay. coming in at number two. What just happened? That was uh, Sanford State. last year, Sanford State. Year. And, of course, come on. Number one, what do you need to say? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Those are my personal top three. You, talk about yourself. Yeah. Go. I love this. I'm ta- uh, you know what? My answer, someone asked me this before. Yeah. And I liked my answer before, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it back. Um, It's coming. It's what? It's coming. It's coming? It hasn't happened yet. Oh, your favorite call has not happened yet. I, oh, I feel uh, like you always, I'm like, uh, want to chase that. Like, because if uh, I go, that's it, uh, I've got uh, it, I'm uh, done. Like, no, no, it's coming. It's, it's still, it's still yet to happen. Yeah, I don't know what it will. Wow, be. but no, he didn't. Yes, he did. It's really, it's a class. You know what though? Here's my prediction. It doesn't matter what the call is. You'll probably be like, yeah, no, I don't see what's special about that. It just was calling. Like Vern Lundquist is probably like, dude, I said in your life. Yeah. Like, come on. What? Well, I remember I got some attention for that. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. But I- I've heard it a lot. And I yeah. go, what happened? Like, did Demarcus take out a gun and shoot somebody? Did he? <laughs> oh, he did. Did he oh, grab a puppy? Oh, you, you. Yeah, so you're grading yourself, saying it's not descriptive enough for the radio. I but- mean, like. I did. I, it was. It probably would have been honestly better if it was television. You know, because I found the same thing where I was like, "Well, what miracles am I supposed to believe in?" Right. Al? I don't know what's going yeah, on. But that was TV. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> we will. Too critical. Uh, by the way, we'll get to this Tom Brady audio. We can put it. We're always, we're always going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. And Justin, I see you on the phone on line four. If you hold through the break, I do promise we'll get right to you at the top of the hour. That's your choice. I know you got a busy day. One eight hundred nine two zero eleven forty. Though also Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Yes, there was actually mm-hmm. a Jiffy Lube drive of the game. And if you call in with that, I'll even. You know what, Jason? Because last night's game was so tough. Mm-hmm. Because I understand everybody's kind of down in the dumpers. I'm going to give it. I don't ever do this. I'm going to give you a hint. Okay. Last night's Jiffy Lube drive of the game happened in the second quarter. Well, that's a giveaway, Dave. <laughs> in the second quarter, and it involved two players we've already mentioned today. On the Sacramento Kings layup, we'll take. A, no, uh, I'm not going to say if it's a layup or not. No, now. you're making it one. When we come back, uh, all of that like a home run. We'll talk to Justin. We'll uh, talk to our winner there, and then let's uh, reset here. The Kings go 0 and 5 against the Pelicans. <sighs> Where are they at now, and what is ahead of them starting tonight? We're right back. It's Jason, Dave, it's Kyle filling in for Chris Rolot on Sacktown Sports. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in ten young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, 
Covenant House is there. Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. They gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love, they can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. Sacramento Weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR A3 Weather Center. We're off to a pleasant start for your Friday. Expect to have increasing clouds this afternoon. You'll feel a bit of that southwest breeze as well. Temperatures cooler with highs today in the low 70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCR A3 News and the KCR A3 app. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down in a heartbeat. So remember to be a little more alert on the road and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes, visit jiffylube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. Tired of hearing scary radio ads about the IRS? Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000 or $500,000, we have a solution. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS with zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. We have over a 1,000 five-star reviews on Google and an A-plus with a BBB. End your tax nightmare today by visiting TRA.com or call 800-583-6580. That's 800-583-6580. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. KHTK AM Sacramento. KYMX HT2 Sacramento. Sacramento's official home for the San Francisco 49ers. Touchdown! San Francisco! Set Town Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. with Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did.
And you were just playing found, football with found him. Found the earlier. golf ball. Oh, is that a good? Is oh, that the wrong size? That is definitely. A, yeah, like great, in a sense, like choking hazard. Yes. Well, so, are there more? Yeah. Well, There's one left. Got to grab it. Where is it? Thank you, Jason. It's like having a toddler in here. Sorry, everybody on the radio. I have a five-month-old puppy that, uh, well, pretty much wants to put everything in her mouth Gross. and chew everything. We're just worried about, like, live wires and stuff, but we're watching her. It's okay. one 800 912 Let me open the phone lines. That might help for uh, the Jiffy Lube drive of the game. I gave you a hint. It, starts in the, it happened in the second quarter, and as promised, Justin was nice enough to hold – Justin, good morning. Thank you for holding. We know uh, everyone's busy and they have their own things to do. Welcome, and the floor is yours, sir. I would like to throw some optimism in the show today. Okay. Uh, very down yesterday, went to the game, driving home. Did you, you throw know, the chicken I, wing? <laughs> uh, I cannot confirm or deny, but uh, it did look good. Okay. Um, okay, so here's what we have, right? So if the Kings win last night, um, it puts the Pelicans and the Suns in a tie in the standings. So what, and I believe the Suns actually hold the tiebreaker. They do. Um, so what that means is Pels would move down to six or move down to seven, um, and that would put you know just likelihood with two games remaining we would play the Pelicans in the in the tournament. So Kings, all we have to do is win tonight, actually, and probably win Sunday as well. But um, we would much rather play the Suns and the Pelicans. Pelicans is basically a guaranteed loss at this point. So you play them in the play-in. We lose and we go, you know, we play the next, the winner between the nine and the 10. So in all honesty, if we can just run the table the last two games, we're actually in a better situation than if we were to beat the Pelicans and lose to the Suns, um, just based on that alone. So what, what are your thoughts on that? So you're saying maybe we threw the game last night. <laughs> to avoid the Pelicans. To avoid the Pelicans, even though that's still in play. <laughs> just, just the optimism side. I mean, no, we didn't throw it, but I think that, you know, just based on the situation, like, if we could just run it out, we're in a, we're in better shape than if we were to actually win that game. Um, to me, also the Kings, they just look gassed at this point. If you look at the Warriors, they're sitting players. Like I don't know if Draymond and uh, Clay were actually injured, if they were just getting some rest for the back to back. But they did rest Curry on the back to back a few days ago. So it seems like they're playing they're playing it a little differently. They're resting their their key players to get a you know to to make up in these back to back games. Where Kings, we don't. It seems like we don't have that luxury. Um, it just seems like since this road trip with the way everything structured, the final game, final seven, eight games of the season, Kings just look gassed. I, I, I feel like they need like a couple days between games, two, three. They need that break to get back, to get everything going. It just, and that's why I think Sabonis is short too. Like if you, if you watch his game, he's a little, it's not the same as it was, you know, a few games ago. Um, to me, everybody just looks like their, their tank is running empty. So just throw that out there and get your guys' thoughts on all of that. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. I like the thought of, of doing it. And I don't, I know they didn't lose on purpose, but the fact that they likely will avoid the Pelicans, but I told you that scenario is not crazy to think mm. that they could still be the eight and have to go to new Orleans well, I, I, uh, <laughs> by Tuesday. And I, again, they're not, it would have been nice to be the six to get the week to get ready. That's not going to be the case. If they are the eight and they go to New Orleans, I'm just going to put all my money on the Kings. Because that wouldn't that just sum up the year? They got they become the eight. They have to go to the Pelicans. They're zero and five. They've lost by more than any other team has lost to another team since the early eighties. Yeah. What would that play in spread be? Oh my! It would probably be Pelicans minus eleven and a half. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. And they go to New Orleans and win. They get their first one of the year in New Orleans against a full strength Pelicans team. That, and then they get a rest the rest of the week. That would <laughs> that would just sum up the season. A hundred percent. Yeah. I'm trying to take a look and see if Gracie. No, we're out of golf balls. No, okay. That's yeah. fine. All right. All right. Uh oh, Randy. Uh, Randy, turn your phone, uh, turn your radio down, please. It is the Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Randy, do you have a guess? Yes, sir. Okay, I do. Hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, 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 what, what, what are you was, what, what are you seeing? Oh no, no, yeah, because I, I I put it on my notes yesterday. That's oh, why. okay, okay. Oh, nice. You know what? That's totally fake. <laughs> yeah. you know Let me just say something. That's acceptable. That is a hundred percent acceptable. If you're listening to, oh, to right here and you decide to make, oh, hey, that's the Jiffy Loop drive of the game. Yeah, that is a hundred percent not cheating and acceptable. Go ahead, Randy. 
Okay, okay, cool, cool, yeah. Yeah, so uh, the, the, um, uh, well, it's the uh, assist for Murray, uh, dunk, for, uh, 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 running dunk for uh, Simonis. Assist Murray, running dunk for Domas. Let's see. Keegan yeah. now to the left wing. It's Simonis coming down the lane. Moving forward. And a two-hand flush. That'll be your jiffy little drive of the game. Be listening to the Clare Michael Dave Show with Jason Ross tomorrow morning at 745. Your chance to win a $100 Jiffy Lube certificate, courtesy of all the Jiffy Lube locations in the greater Sacramento area. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Randy. Yeah. Our, our Jiffy Lube driver of the game. Good note taker. Very good note taker. And uh, you know what? I'm not just going to, we're not just going to say thank you, Randy. I'll tell you what, I'm going to reach into Jason's back pocket. Yes. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, to the right. other pocket. Hey, now. And uh, you know what? I've got a, I've got a Jiffy Lube gift card worth $100. Just for you to do whatever you wish That's with it, whatever you wish. Oh. Hey, Randy, yes. just do me one last favor. Um, yes. What? Uh, what local sports radio station makes all your Jiffy Lube note taking dreams come true? Eleven forty. Oh, let's yeah, go. I'll take it. Eleven forty. Let's go. All right. That is Get correct. Info. Way to go, Randy. Way to go, Randy. Uh, I, since I didn't get to it last time, and hey, it's a caller Friday. Don't forget. Friday Funny Games coming up later. Yes. Uh, with special guest Grace. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I have breaking news. Gracie will not be here for Friday Funny Games. Why? Because mommy has apparently been watching on the YouTube and she says, I'm coming to get her. I thought Grace was going to the uh, Republic. That meeting. was the plan. We She got up early. She showered. She put on nice clothes. She's ready to go. We practiced etiquette. And uh, mommy has brought the hammer. Wait, down. mommy did this or Gracie did this? Uh, <laughs> no, Gracie got up and showered and everything. She yeah, got ready. We were brushed. just playing our football tricks. Mm-hmm. Well, last break. We've got about a half an hour. We've got a kicker. Mommy is dropping off uh, the kids, oh. and then, uh, um, and then she's coming to get the dog. Yeah, I know. And Simone's not happy. Well, yeah. she's she's very well taken care of. In fact, I I even took a uh, with Simone's because I've learned that you have to ask permission from people to put pictures of them on social media, oh. but. Uh, that's that's a nice picture, right? Okay. Uh, here's some audio for you. Uh, it's Tom Brady yesterday. I don't know what this is, and I probably should, but it's like some podcast, and it, the dude that's on the podcast has some like neck tats and stuff. I don't recognize him. Um, and I can't bring it up. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, Jason. You seeing this? Why do yeah. I? Why do I not? Okay, there we go. Let me see. Here is uh. Tom Brady, I think, uh, this will be the right audio, uh, talking about uh, being, well, just listen. You know, heading to the playoffs, offense is great. Patriots somebody, could be, somebody, somebody, Raiders somebody, could be, you never know. God forbid somebody goes down, would you pick up that phone? I'm not opposed to it. If they, they would, I don't know if they're going to let me if I become an owner in the NFL team, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know, I'm always going to be in good shape, always be able to throw the ball, so. To come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back. Um, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Hey, um, one. I mean, here's the thing. Okay, first off, let me. Was he messing around? A lot of people say maybe he was. I don't know. That doesn't sound like it. Didn't look like it. Yeah. Secondly, he's referring to his pending ownership stake in the Raiders, minority ownership stake in the Raiders. I will tell you right now, if Tom Brady wanted to come back, the NFL will figure out a way to make it work. He'll probably have to like put his shares in escrow or something and divest himself of ownership until he's done. And then they're not going to be like, no, sorry, Tom Brady. You can't come back and offer us hecka huge ratings. Uh, No, you're going to have to. No, that's not happening. Would it be broadcaster player? I think the best thing would be Obviously, if he comes back, it's almost certainly going to be, and they need it. It's going to be for the Raiders. Mm-hmm. And Raider fan, I know you're out there going like, I don't want to talk rule, man. whatever. Because first off, he already literally is about to own you. <laughs> like, they say that like, oh, this guy owns you. No. He owns you. Tom Brady is literally about to own you. If he's going to own you, you might as well, like, no offense to Aiden O'Connell, I'm taking Tom Brady at 54. Yeah. So there's that. Secondly, I think because of his Fox duties, our first ever color commentating quarterback with a microphone on him. 
Wow, he's really predicting the plays. <laughs> he's like, well, you know, it's third and three for the Raiders. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking run right yeah. here. Wow, I got another one right. Got another one right. Wow, <laughs> suck on that, Tony Romo. <laughs> That's what I predict. All right, 0-5 against New Orleans. The Kings are officially a play-in team for the first time in their entire life. Yeah, it's never happened. It's hey, never happened. See, this team made history. They made history just as we thought. Uh, we've got post game for you. Uh, we'll get to that. The Kings are now tied with the Lakers and Warriors. We'll reset that situation for you. And yes, we'll get to some of that post game audio for you right after this. The only place you'll find Kevin Herter is Sacktown Sports. Herter's open, steps into three. He's got the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's Kevin Herter, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for my good friends at American Energy. Now, I've told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal. Right now, American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Good morning, Sacramento. My name is Kyle Ledbetter, and this is your hourly Masters Update. Still in the lead, yet to tee off for round two, is... Well, born in Modesto, Bryson DeChambeau. Along, he is by himself in the lead. At six under, we have Max Homa and 2022 champion Scotty Scheffler. And by the way, Tiger Woods just birdied the third hole. So he's now at even par for the tournament. This Masters update is brought to you by Naturewood Home Furnishings, where it's all about choices and always about quality. Now let's return to the Carmichael Dave Show with... Jason Ross. Hello, friends. Hello. I was uh, listening to the Vern Lundquist tribute on the way in this morning. I was thinking, how do you... Like, I love this job. Don't get me wrong. Oh, God. I'm in like a nine-page, I don't care if you don't care text thing with my wife. Well, you sound, it sounds like it's okay on the radio, so do you not want me to get her... I'm good with whatever. I don't care either way. She's oh, here. We're committed. Say, OMG, make up your mind, she says. I say, okay, if you want to come get her, go ahead. If you don't want, no worries. You're killing me, Smalls. I don't care either. I can't, just don't get her. It's well, now, okay. we, now we have a dog sitter for the next yeah. hour yeah, Simone's in here. It's fine. fine. But my wife's asked me, and I know she's trying to be polite, but she's asked me like four times this morning, you want me to come get her? And I'm, I'm feeling like that's like a subliminal, like, I actually want to come get her. Because she wasn't a fan of me bringing her in anyways. Because she's so squirmy. Not the dog, not my wife. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I, so I was watching the Vern Lundquist thing, and I was like, how do you become a golf announcer? Like, can I do, I want to do yes. that. I could totally. Do a sample. Uh, could you, would you mind throwing it to me? Just, yeah. Just like, so I can, uh, like in basketball, so I can, yeah. you know. All right. As Tiger just knocked that one in on 16, let's go over to nine in Carmichael Day. Jason Day, one under on the day, lining up a 10-foot putt. Yeah. That's it. You know what? Um, You're hired. Uh, th- that's all. I could do that. What's your golf call? Put your in the top. hole. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. What's wrong with that? I can do all in your life. Right. It's always good to Just mimic gonna, others. Yeah. It's always yeah. good to steal other people's calls. Wow. What about this? <laughs> 20 foot putt. Bang. Yeah. 20. It's two banks. Hello. Oh. Bang. Bang. Yeah. Absolutely. Yahtzee. Mm-hmm. If 20 is bang, bang, Jason, what would it be for 60? Boom shakalaka. Uh, it is a boom shakalaka. That's a fact. Bang a rang. What do you say on the golf course if you hit a great putt? You yourself. F. Okay. <laughs> well, try it. On the live tour. 
Let's go. That would be my signature. Put the ball the right way. Put the ball the right way. Well, that must be a Homer Simpson because the pitcher just said, don't. That's the old Sports Center commercial. Yeah. No. I could do we'll that. But you have to be in a mellow. <clears throat> and what are they called at Augusta? Uh, the patrons are yes. gathering around the third hole. Not goal. fans, the patrons. Kurt Kitayama lines up a five footer to go three under and tie with Bryson DeChambeau. And the putt. See, you can't, you can't, you can't And the putt. Rolling, 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 That's rolling. That's radio. Rolling. You could do radio. I guess you could. Yeah. I would love to do this that. Is a left to right, about a 10 foot break. Yes. 18 feet out. It's going to start this one about six feet wide of the cup. It's on the line. He got it. He got it. Exquisite. Yeah. Listen to the patrons. Yes. And that moves him above the cut line. Kurt Kitayama on 18. With the close out Are you following Kurt? Yeah. yeah. I'm perched on 18. Oh, yeah. 10 footer left to right. Rolling. Moving right. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Kurt Kitayama finishes with a 68. Back to you, Jim. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Would have worked on the Tiger chip on 16. A hundred percent. Yeah. It, it would because you would have said, Oh, no, oh, he, he didn't. didn't. And then it falls. Yes, he did. That would have been absolutely perfect. Yes. Why can't, where do you try? Is there tryouts? Is it like a spelling bee? Can I go somewhere and just try out? Tryouts for spelling bees? We have to like make the spelling bee by spelling yeah. words, I guess. I don't know. Like, is there a, can I talk to Sean McManus or whoever it is? I'll start on the golf channel. Tell Tom Morton. I'll wear the, uh, I'll wear the big antenna f- headphones yeah. and walk around. Walk the I'll, course with I'll, bones. I'll put in the work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Trailing behind. Uh, uh, Why is Dave in a cart? Right. You know, I'm just back there just smoking. Well, uh, well, Dottie, looking pretty Let's good. Go Dave. Wait, I, I'm going to need a minute. <sighs> well, Dottie, I got to tell you. We're gotta... back from break, but Dave's not. <laughs> <laughs> he just he gets me. Oh, let me put these away. I got a bad, big bag of Cheetos I'm munching. You know how when you have headphones on yeah. and you talk louder than you yes. think you do? Yes. How do they do that on the golf course? I don't know. Because they like, let's go to Dottie Pepper, and Dottie's like four feet behind Tiger. Right. Like, yeah, Tiger's going to grab a six iron here. And it's like, Tiger's like, no, I'm not. It's a seven. <laughs> I've always wondered, is she four feet behind? Like, or wherever or is, they are. Or, But I'm wondering, or is she like behind a tree peeking out? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the rules are yeah. there. Just mashing a pimento cheese sandwich. <laughs> well, you know what I've heard. It's only a dollar fifty. I just want, how do you write? Do, is there a golf minor leagues? For announcers, the Corn Fairy Tour. Like, right. Like, can I start at the Corn Fairy Tour? Mm-hmm. I would totally do that. I want that to be my side job. Oh, I do radio during the week, but uh, every Thursday. And soccer. Er, and soccer. Yeah. Every Thursday, Friday, when I'm on assignment, yeah. I'll do the show live from right. wherever. Dave's in Iowa this week. I, I'm in Iowa at the John Deere yeah. uh, Dolly Parton Classic. Yes. Yeah, in Ames, Iowa for Welcome In. Here's a bunch of guys you don't know. Let's go to three. What if you started with miniature golf? I would, yeah, whatever, the the, whatever, the, I may not be 18 years old anymore, but whatever the path is to become a golf announcer, and I don't even need to be Jim Nance or Will McDonough or any of those guys. I will be the guy in the crow's nest on seven that just say, let's go out to uh, Carmichael Dave. On, and that's how I'd be Carmichael Dave on seven. Dave, I mean, I'll, uh, you know. what? Yeah. I, what? <laughs> Good day. what? 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 Uh, what do you want? Oh, LPGA. There's got to be open. Yeah. Is there a Corn Ferry PGA? Right. I don't have to start at the top. I think there's one below Corn Ferry. I'll do that one. Why don't you go out to a Sac State golf tournament and follow the golfers? But for, if for it, your own practice, I could do that. Yeah. Maybe broadcast on KHDK. Yeah. Why not? Stingers up. Stingers. Stingers up on the third tee. Kings now tied with the Lakers. I, but the problem is, is I'd want to laugh. Yeah. I'd want to laugh the whole time. Uh, we've got a master's update for you next. Real quick, though, let's get to Mike Brown. Disappointment is high. A bit like MJ coming high. back. I mean, we, we um, expected I Hold on. What was that? It sounded like the television. It did sound like. Hold on. Right, maybe it's the 49ers. Maybe, you know, head to the playoffs. Oh, this is still, this is that dumb Twitter. Yeah, it's the dumb Twitter thing repeating. Eh, shut up. That's Tom Brady and that shut other up, guy. Tom and Neck Tat. Whoever you are, all right. Let's, 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 here's a uh, Mike Brown on disappointments. This point, disappointment is high. I mean, we we expected to win. 
<clears throat> not only tonight, we expected to win every time on that road trip that we stepped on the floor. And, um, you know, again, I thought our guys fought even on this road trip. We fought every time. The only time, uh, just thinking back to, you know, on these last handful of games where I thought we, we didn't quite give the fight we needed was to start this game. Our level of physicality wasn't where it needed to be. And uh, but other than that, uh, <clears throat> I, I mean, these guys are resilient. You know, um, they're going to keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. And, you know, the reality of it is in situations like this, you hope you get a break or two. And uh, it, it didn't seem like we got any tonight. Mm. Okay. I mean, he's been there. He's built and been a part of building championship teams. I haven't. I don't instinctively like it when the whole thing is like, well, this is invaluable experience. Like, yeah. what, getting your ass kicked? I know um, but, this is an unfair question I'm going to ask you, but you've referenced how this year has been as frustrating for you mm -hmm. as a Kings fan as, as any, any. Completely different than last year. Yes. I'm hoping, no matter how this year ends, because, you know, again, it could end as soon as next Wednesday, I guess. Yeah. Or they could be in the playoffs and lose. who Or win it all. Who knows? Whatever. Sure. sure. Um, I'm hoping next year is more fun for people. It, it'll never be the same as year one. It just won't be of the come up and how exciting. Everything was exciting last year. But I feel like this year just for the masses hasn't been fun enough. And I think there have been enjoyable parts, certainly frustrating. I get that. But I hope even if they're about the same where it's like they may not be championship worthy, but they're good. I hope people enjoy it. I think people will enjoy next year more than this think year. So? I do. I mean, again, unless like, you know, God forbid, crazy injuries, whatever. And I hope it doesn't mean just because if they miss the playoffs this year, they'll enjoy it more. Like, I hope that I was hoping there'd be a little bit more perspective for Kings fans. Well, you and know, I can't tell them how to fan. I know. No, but, like, but to your point, we talk all the time. Mike Brown's talking about it. Like a championship team was not built in a day. Right. right? Why don't we ever talk about championship fans? Yeah. Why, champ, why, why, why can't we ever talk about the fact that we are learning how to be championship fans? And we last year was a dream. And then this year, okay, we're all a little bit off right now. Maybe yeah. we need to learn how to be a championship caliber fan. Yeah. Can the Detroit Lions fans next year have a fun year? <sighs> if Unless they, it ends like yeah, at the yeah, top. But yeah. like if they're, I don't know, the way football works, it what if they're six and 11? It's, like, oh, it's terrible. Or not even that. But to be a comp like this, they're, Eight and nine, nine and eight, and on the fringe of a wild card. Oh, it was so different last year. Yeah. It's being a prisoner of expectation because you're always going to have Lion fan that's like, yeah, but we could be what we were four years ago. Mm -hmm. And then for Kings fan, it's like, well, we could be what we were three years ago, or, you know, that we could be in Seattle. We could still be at Arc. Like, there's always, it's like, and that's the thing. Like, how do you deal with that? Jason, if I, if I, God forbid, if on my way home today, I get in a car crash and I lose my right arm. It's my throwing arm. It's my writing arm. It's my arm. Like, I'm going to be, like, super depressed. I'm going to take some time off. And I'm going to come back. And I'm going to be like, I don't have an arm. You know, everything. And everyone's going to be like, oh, Dave, you don't have an arm, right? And then I'm going to run into a guy who has no legs. And he's going to look at me. He's going to be like, trust me, bro. I'd rather have legs and no right arm. And then I'm like, yeah, that's a great point. And then he's going to wheel over to a guy who has no movement below the neck. And he's like, <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Trust me. I'd rather have no legs and be able to work my upper body. Like, my point is, it's always, it could always be worse. Yeah. So, on one hand, I think it's okay to mourn the fact that I lost my arm. I think it's okay for Kings fans to be upset and pissed off at the fact that this year seems like a lateral move. It was below their expectations. And also be like, yes, it could, yes, yes, it could be worse. But it also sucks. Yeah. But it could be worse. True. All right, we'll take a break. I think Gracie's got to go potty. I mean, mm. are you hearing the whines? Yeah. Yeah. When we come mm. back, the Kings are now tied uh, with the Lakers and Warriors. We we told you about that. Now we're going to get to the Masters update and a little bit more post-game audio. We'll do that next. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacktown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. So here's a fact. 85% of the population will suffer from foot pain in their lifetime. That's almost everyone. So you'd think there'd be plenty of healthy long-term remedies. 
but there just aren't, right? Hi, I'm Dan from the Good Feet Store. You know, people come in all the time sharing the same frustrating story. Bought this, tried that, been there, done, whatever, all different kinds of things, but all with a similar result. Nothing. A discouraging and endless cycle of disappointment. If this rings a bell, don't despair. There is hope. If you think you've tried everything, you probably haven't tried Good Feet Art Supports from the Good Feet Store. They're designed to relieve, even eliminate, the pain commonly caused by certain foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, flat feet, and others. Plus, provide better balance and increased comfort. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one in your neck of the woods. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Play and win to take your loyalty to new heights at Sky River Casino in Elk Grove. Sign up for Sky River Rewards and you'll get $15 free play to use on your first visit. Plus, you'll be in the know about upcoming special events and offers. Visit skyriver.com today. Gambling problem? Call 100 Gambler. Sponsored by Xfinity. Enjoy the entertainment you love with the Xfinity Stream app. Turn any screen into a TV and take the entertainment you love wherever you go. Xfinity, we connect you to more of what you love. Increase leads and get more customers. We create tailored digital marketing strategies that deliver results. On your next campaign, aim higher. Go to aimyourdigital.com and get started today. Aimyourdigital.com. The PGA Club Fitters at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio know that golf should be fun. They also know that players of all abilities will hit the ball farther and straighter, play better golf, shoot lower scores, and have more fun if they get fitted before they purchase golf clubs. Hagen Oaks delivers the same technology and major brands use to fit PGA and LPGA professionals. See how the game can be even more fun. Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio fittings are available seven days a week. Make yours today by calling 916-808-2531. That's 808-2531. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, new dog treatment centers, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Celebrate Sacramento Rivercats baseball during our 25th anniversary season. Pick your favorite weekly promotion, giveaway game, or theme night, and join the fun at Sutter Health Park. Stick around post-game every Friday and Saturday night as we light up the sky with the brightest fireworks in town. For a full promotion schedule and to buy tickets, visit rivercats.com. We'll see you there. Imagine taking a nice warm bath in your shower. Uh, let's fix that. Right now, get that clogged drain unclogged for just $67. Plumbing, sewer, electric, heating, and air. Bonnie.com. Some restrictions apply. License 696-355. with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. Brought the puppy in today, five months old. And uh, took her out front during that break. Walked all through the grass. She sniffed everything. Didn't do anything else. She is now. Uh, boy. Oh, look, it's Simone brought munchies in for yes. Mad Master's Munchies. Oh, this looks great. There's one specifically for you. Yeah, the smoked salmon is. Well, another one in the middle there. What is this? I see avocado. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, you got a little extra topper. Oh. Little top hat. What is that? Is that prosciutto? What is that? We'll have to have a. And then you got your. Uh, some form of dip. Is that an artichoke, artichoke dip? Yeah. And then the other a little 
Oh, what's jalapeno some- jelly avocado? And oh, the- dude, yeah, I am definitely not leaving here during the next break. That I'm just gonna pick up the plate. And- you missed just- the other plate. That's already gone. What other plate? The pimento cheese. We ate it all. What? That's a bit. I'm sorry. You know what? That's okay. Honestly, that's fine. I'm glad you wet the corners of your mouth. Okay. Uh, let's get back, let's get back to the uh, post game. Uh, somebody somebody here said something that really got me. Dave, you just don't have the golf voice. Sorry, bud. <sighs> Whoa, I'd rather be called fat or something. Like that's terrible. I thought you had a good job. I that's what I job. thought. I, I think they're listening to your every day. When you did the yeah. golf, it wasn't there. Yeah, come on, man. Here, dude, Tiger's t shirt right there. Look, <laughs> Tiger Woods on three. He already birdied three. Tiger Woods on four. <laughs> See, I can say that. Yeah. The problem is, is I'd have to listen to some radio calls because I don't know, like, oh, there's a high drive. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is high. It is, <laughs> it is far. <laughs> it is fair in the fairway. Uh, Max Homa and Bryson DeChambeau, by the way. Max Homa has caught Bryson. Bryson has yet to tee off seven under. Homa threw four. Scotty Scheffler looming right there at six under the pre-Masters favorite. Both cams, Young and Davis at four and three under. Former champion Danny Willett also at four under. He tees off at 930 and just under an hour. tied for sixth? Uh, Tied for sixth. uh, Nikolai Hogard, uh, Matthew Pavon, and Ryan Fox, the veteran, at three under with Colin Morikawa getting into yeah. the front page. Very of the breezy league. now. Uh, breezy. Uh, windy. Uh, yeah, gusty. Uh, it's very augusty. Yeah. Uh, out there uh, as well. From the 916, Dave, you're fat. Feel better? I would if you spelled your with an apostrophe R-E. And they, did they do P-H-A-T? No. It was F-A-T. Uh, from the 916, Valanchunas just showed everyone why Sabonis is limited offensively. Valanchunas was knocking down that midi. Sucks that Sabonis has none. And the reason why I read it, of course, is it was in all caps. Mm. That's always a good way to get uh, read. You always want to use all caps. So yes. the guy was basically yelling that text to us. Um, but, yeah, he was talking about how Valanchunas has the offensive game uh, that Sabonis lacks, although Sabonis outscored him last night on 8 of 12 shooting but but wish he had that midi wish he had that midi that the other guy had that was outscored by him so what are your thoughts jason uh my thoughts are the same uh i mean look we again it's there's a combination of you it's okay to praise demontis sabonis while also saying he has some flaws he has some some limitations, but he's had a terrific season. Yes. He has helped to get the Kings to where they are. Yes. Um, and maybe there's maybe, you know, the stuff, I think you said it earlier. There, there's, I think it would be more than fair to say, is he the center on a team that could win a championship? Well, at this point, the answer is no, but that doesn't mean that's the final answer. At one point, the, that was an answer that was no for Nikola Jokic. Remember all those amazing Warriors championships with that awesome all-star center? Right. That team was built differently. The Denver Nuggets were built around an all-star center yes, that were. did win one last year. They, but- they, they're a guy that the closest comp to DeMontis Sabonis is Nikola Jokic. Who will likely win the MVP. Who will again. likely win the MVP this year. Who Sabonis is either as good at or better in pretty much every category except and it's the one people are talking about. Yeah. Jokic scores about 10 more points a game than him. I don't think being 10 points a game less than the MVP, the three-time MVP, makes you a guy that you can't win a championship with yeah. or that doesn't deserve a max contract. He's not Jokic, but he's diet Jokic. Right. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Valanchunas's points were a lot more impactful and came at crucial points. Did did Valanchunas's did I did I miss that Valanchunas midi from four feet that was worth four points? Mm. Did, did I miss his perimeter jumper that was worth five? Or did I miss, when you're talking about impactful points, I, I'm being a ding-dong. I understand what the, the, the text is trying to say. I don't know how many impactful points DeMontis Sabonis could have scored last night when they were basically losing by 20 all night. Yeah, they never had the lead. Like, what are we doing? The, well, he outscored him, but they're more impactful. What are you talking about? He averages 20 points on tremendous efficiency. Can we get off of his whatever? 
I. <laughs> uh, Mike Brown on the plan. I told our team this many times. I mean, th- this po- what we're going through right now is is invaluable. I, I truly, I, I mean, I hope everybody, and I told him, I said, we all should be embracing this 100% for sure, guys. I want to freaking win every game. And trust me, uh, I go home and I bang my head against the wall just like everybody else in that locker room on these losses. Uh, but, man, you know, I don't know. It seems like forever, but maybe the last 10 games or so, maybe a little longer, every single time we stepped on the floor, there's been uh, an expectation, a pressure of trying to get a win and one win or one loss, one win can move you up three spots, one loss can drop you down three spots. And so to be able to go through this, uh, especially right now in our second year with the team we have, while Keon's getting experience, while Davion's getting experience and even throwing Kobe in there a little bit too. And the reality of it is, Fox haven't, hasn't been through this. This is Fox's eighth year in the league, but he hasn't been through this at all. And, uh, you know, Domus probably hasn't been through it. You know, he's played in the playoffs, I think, twice before coming here. So for all of us to be able to go through this uh, is an invaluable learning experience. I hope we come out on, on top. But for us to have to fight for that play-in spot and realize how good it will be to play at home, Okay, in that first game, knowing that you got two shots at it, I, I'm I'm excited about it. I want to. I'm I've embraced it. it, it if we could have finished in six, I wanted that more than anything else or fifth. But at the end of the day, uh, this is where we are, and let's freaking go get it. Mm. I don't. Hearing Mike Brown say that, remember I told you the other day that I need braces, mm-hmm. right? And I have to wear them for, they say, three years. It's going it, to it, hearing that is like, I feel like how I'm going to, like when the dentist is like, look, you can't have popcorn or anything like that for three years. Yes, it's going to suck. It's going to hurt your jaw and you're going to get even more migraines. But at the end of the three years, your teeth are going to look so great. And you know what? Everything he's saying is right. But all I can think about is I don't want to do this for three years. <laughs> right. Like that's it. Kind of feels like Mike Brown's the parent that's like, I know it hurts right now, and I know you don't want to do this. I know you want to play video games, but in the end, if you study for the test and get a good grade, you're going to go to college. You're going to get a better job, and then you can yeah. play all the video games you want. Well, I don't care about then. I care about I want to beat the thing now. Don't take that out of context. We'll take a break when we come back. Uh, who's hot, who's not. We'll go streaking. We got to recap a three in the key. We got to do a three in the key for the Suns Kings. We got to do a three in the key for the Kings. Yeah, there's a lot going on. And then Brendan Nunes is allegedly coming on. In the studio. Is that that true? Allegedly. All right. Talking about going from a Monday qualifier to the uh, featured round at the tournament <laughs> we'll see you there Sacktown sports junior insider uh brendan yeah. nunes joining us when we come back though who's out who's not and all that other stuff next malik monk plays here right left goes right steps back launches the three nothing but net oh that was just filthy oh my that was sweet Sacktown sports is your proud home of the sacramento kings thanks for calling discover this is gabby Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. I'm I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge motor oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge high mileage full synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m. The venue at Thunder Valley. Say I'm crazy, but I have a special guest. The Elevators. 
On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. If your Medi-Cal is ending, Cover California is here to help. Cover California is a service from the state that helps you get affordable health insurance. In many cases, at no cost to you, just like with Medi-Cal. We have quality health plans and we'll help you every step of the way to get the one that works for you and your family. So if you're no longer eligible for Medi-Cal, check out Cover California. We'll keep you covered. Learn more at CoveredCA.com. You can host the best backyard barbecue. You need to find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. When I want to stretch out after a long day, my sofa needs to be comfortable. But it also needs to look attractive and inviting when guests come to visit. I am Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. We spend so much time on our living room sofas that we forget they're a focal point and a hint to our decorating tastes. Right now, during Naturewood Home Furnishings Sofa Sale, you can save on every sofa, including gallery-exclusive custom-ordered flex steel furniture. Whether you're interested in a new sofa, sectional, or recliner, you can choose from hundreds of colors and fabrics. Nobody has more styles and choices than Naturewood Home Furnishings. And when it comes right down to it, it's all about choices and always about quality. Shop Naturewood for the look you love at a price you'll love even more. Visit Naturewood Home Furnishings right now for this remarkable sofa sale. Off Highway 50 at Hazel, look for the water wheel. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air. Making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more. What's hot? Yeah, hot. Real hot. And what's not? It's not good. Brought to you by American Energy Heating and Air. Sacramento's complete heating and cooling company and second opinion partner. Real quick, Kentucky has officially hired Mark Pope from BYU to be their new head coach taking over John Calabari, who may be in Sacramento this week. Now, uh, by the way, why am I just finding out that BYU's head coach was named Pope? <laughs> former Wildcat. Yeah, former Wildcat. How about that? All right, who's hot? Who's hot? Yeah. Domantis Sabonis. Not according to the text line and everybody else. Well, guess what? Domantis Sabonis yesterday recorded his 75th double-double of the season. You know the last time an NBA player had 75 double-doubles in a season? Yeah, the last time it happened. Yeah, you got it. 1953. Ah, when you were a child. That's right. Yeah, a yeah. little, little later than that. Ah. It was Moses Malone ah. in the 1978-79 season. It's the first time in 45 years that a player has recorded 75 double-doubles in a season. Good for Domas. Kyle, how old are your parents? Uh... <laughs> My dad recently turned 58. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. No, no. I just, I just wanted to make sure real quick that we weren't like the same age type of thing. That'd be really lame. All right. Your dad is significantly older than me, and that's good. Who's not? Who's not? I guess it would be the Sacramento Kings against the Pelicans because not only were they 0 5 this season, but yesterday Zion Williamson had 31 points, CJ McCollum had 31 points. Trey Murphy had 27 points the first time this season and probably all of last season. The Pelicans had three players score more than 25 points in a single game. Well, that's pretty good. Right? Yeah. You're asking Kyle about his parents. What makes me feel old? Kyle was born on the day I was married. Yeah, we established that last year it was incredible. Yeah. It's like not even an anniversary thing. It's like the day. And Frankie st uh, was born like days before I started here. I don't like any of this. It should be a minute. I think a minimum age to work here should be 35. <laughs> minimum? Minimum age. Well, that, that would knock out quite a few of our staff. staff. Yeah. <laughs> it would knock out 
Actually, like 50%. Actually, it would yeah. knock out almost all of our, our <laughs> producers. Yeah, and our midday show. <laughs> Seth Simone. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm saying she could be under 35. Oh, she could stay? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All so right. you just want to get rid of me and Nate. Got it. And Watkins and Walkins, Frankie. And Frank. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to get rid of anyone. I'm just saying if rules are rules. Styles, right? Styles. I don't make them up. Yeah. Is uh, oh, Styles under 35, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to find a new midday show. Right. Complete new midday show. Old and older. Or just have a uh, Whitey and Kyle go eight hours. Okay. They're not doing anything this yeah. summer. Right? Uh, all right. Let's go streaking. We got to get to all this. Stuff. It's time to go streaking. We're going streaking. Who is the Nostradamus of MLB? Got to recap three of the key from last night. John Tesh, Kings, Pelicans. The Kings are more like the Pelicans last night when it comes to winning. But Hey-o. how did we do, Jason Ross? All right, let's see how we predicted this, Dave. We asked for the first and last made field goal of the game. Yeah, you we said it would be Murray Murray. Uh-huh. I said Sabon- oh, excuse me, Fox Fox. And Chris like, I'm gonna take Sabonis Sabonis. Uh, the correct answer was after a nine nothing start, Keegan. All right. So you get the first part. Do you get the sweep? The last basket? Devonta Sabonis. Uh, so you were right, and Chris was right. I trusted in Fox. Sabonis is trash. <laughs> uh, we asked, and here's where I need help from the judges. We asked for the lead swing. So the largest lead for one team compared to the largest lead. I don't know if there technically was a swing. They never trailed. So they got up 23 and it got to two. Does it count as a 21 point swing, or is it? Because they never got the lead. I think you're right about that. That counts, but I think this is more like, like think of a pendulum. That's a lead swing. Yeah. And you ever see one of those videos where somebody's parachute doesn't open? They just splat on the ground. That's what the swing was last night. No, I have not watched a video. I'll send you one. (laughs) How many of those have you watched? All of them. Okay. And lastly, yes, for a random stat, something different, something odd, something weird that might happen in the game. And uh, Dave, you said that Keegan Murray would make five or more three pointers. He was five of ten. Job. Hey, oh, oh. I said Zion Williamson would have more dunks than all of the Kings. I don't know the answer to be that. To be honest, I know he had a dunk, and I think De'Aaron had a dunk. I think. I think for the sake of whatever, you're right. Let's, I, I don't think know. Zion had 17 dunks last night. Okay. And uh, Chris said that Keon Ellis would light the beam. I don't think he did. I don't think they let you light it if you lose or score five points. Yeah, so I think he didn't do it. 
If I was the Kings last night after that shellacking, I'd have lit something after the game. Close the beam. So there you go. Lit a cigar. Hmm. Brandon in the YouTube chat says, Malik Monk isn't leaving Sacramento, and if he does, I'll eat one of his jerseys. Okay. No, you don't have to. I hope that you do not have to eat a jersey, but if Malik Monk does leave, I can promise you. You're holding him accountable. Top three things I'm going to think of first. Maybe not number one, but it's in the t- Brandon. It's going to be Brandon. Better not. You better change your screen name or uh, get some barbecue sauce, pal. Gross. Rerack John Tash, three in the key. King Suns tonight. This time it's for real. For all the marbles. Yeah. A lot of them, at least. Yeah. Not a lot of marbles left if the Kings lose. Wow. Jason Ross, take it away. All right, King Suns tonight. So we're going to try this again, Dave. Lead swing. What's going to be the lead swing tonight? How many total um, points? I'm going to say total lead swing tonight is going to be 15. 15. I'm going to go with 22. Kyle? In the true spirit of yesterday's game, wire to wire win for the Sacramento Kings. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. The spirit of last night's game, yet the opposite of what Yeah, happened. exactly. <laughs> I got you. All right, Kings hit a lot of three-pointers. So did the Pelicans. So we're asking for Kings made three-pointers tonight. How many makes? Uh, give me 16 again. Okay. I'm going to go with 12. Kyle? I'll go 20. Woo, big night for the Kings. Wow. And then Dave, random stats. Something different, weird, odd, different kind of prediction. Give me a Devin Booker technical foul. Oh, that's a lock. Right, isn't it, though? Um, I'm going to try this one again. Uh, a half-court shot will be hit tonight. Also, no chicken wings will be thrown. Ah, good call. Let's hope that happens. Uh, I'll it. say three chicken wings will be thrown. Mm. No, I'm kidding. Uh, thanks, Simone. Thanks, uh, Simone. I will say De'Aaron Fox will have at least four steals. Oh, the okay. game. four steals or more. Okay. That's thievery. That's tonight's game. Swipe of the box. And that's it for the season, right? Yeah. No, season there's, there's a game 82. What is it? Sunday. Well, we won't, Sunday, we're Sunday, gonna, Sunday. We're not going to have a show before that. Three in the key. Right now, re John Tash. Here oh we go. God. Three in the John's key. Busy. He is very busy. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. He's very de- demanding. Yes, John he is. Um, all right, Dave. Who will have the Kings' last regular season field goal? Last basket of the season. Edwards. Edwards. That's a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It does kind of. I'm going to go Javali, JaVale McGee. Javali. Kyle? I will go with Mason Jones. Mason Jones. We're all predicting that. Actually, and also it's Javale. Oh, sorry. JaVale uh, McGee. We're predicting um, where the keys will finish. Call in our shot. Seven, Ew. eight, nine, or ten. We're back on Monday. I will say nine. Okay. I've got eight. Kyle? Seven. Woo. And then random stat for the finale. Keon Ellis will have 18 points or more. Ellis, 18 or more. Keon Um, Ellis will have 18. Sabonis finishes with a triple-double. Close out the season, right? Oh, slabby. Yep. Kyle? So remember last year when uh, we clinched the playoff spot oh, in Portland? God, just yes. give him an answer. For by 40 points? Yes. Kings are going to win by more than 40 points against the Blazers. More than 40. The Blazers wow. are playing close. That more than 40? Because they won by 40 in the closeout game last year to clinch the playoff spot. But they were a better team. And Portland was a better team. That's probably very true. All right. We've All done right. it. I think Did Kyle had the best, uh, if he gets it, I think he had the best rando. Yeah. Both games. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, uh, Sacramento Kings junior insider Brendan Nunes uh, will join us, and uh, we'll have him, uh, allegedly, for a full two segments. Before we get to what to watch, celebrity birthdays, and Friday fun and games. Yes. It is a bring your puppy to school or work Friday right here on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Sacktown Sports. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there. 
Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. They gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love, they can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed, and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. For a precision crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and acuraofstockton.com. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729. Or visit us at Power Copy. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. Seems like all this artificial intelligence stuff stirs up the age-old debate of man versus machine. Hi, it's Dan from the Good Feet Store, and let me ask you, would you let a robot cut your hair? Would you rely on an app to teach a kid to ride a two-wheeler? Let's face it, some things require the human touch. People come to us seeking a solution to foot, leg, and back pain after trying all kinds of things recommended by in-store machines or website blurbs. An impersonal, generic approach to solving a problem that's unique to you. No wonder they usually don't work. At the Good Feet Store, you'll meet with an art support specialist who will take the time to learn about your needs, your feet, your lifestyle, and then fit you from over 300 models and sizes of art supports designed for pain relief, better balance, and more comfort. See what we can do for you with a free fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one near you. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento, the only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. Good morning, Sacramento. My name is Kyle Ledbetter, and it's time for your third Masters leaderboard update. We currently have a tie for first place between Bryson DeChambeau and Max Homa. Currently sitting at six under is Scotty Scheffler. This Masters leaderboard update is brought to you by Naturewood Home Furnishings, where it's all about choices and always about quality. Now let's return to the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. 
Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Jason Day, three over, seventh on the tee. Good drive cutting right. We need to get some help, and he gets it. Right down the right side, first cut. Ooh, into a divot. And Day will have a challenging second shot to try to make the cut. Currently at three over par. Ooh. Welcome back. Second to it. Where's, yeah. do- where's Dog? Over here. Oh. Loose? Gracie's, Gracie's hanging out. Why don't you introduce uh, Brendan while I, I, oh, okay. I tie her up? Well, Brendan Nunes, our Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Insider. She's right here. Uh, is back in studio with us. What's going on? Good morning. Oh, I think we got you right. I think so. Yeah, hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Glad to be uh, here. We're glad to have you back. Yeah. Yeah. I uh yeah, glad to be back. <laughs> <laughs> We've had an adventure. Let's start with the uh the most important question, the egg maker. Yes. Yeah. Came through again this morning, actually. Oh, see, it's Keyword a regular, again. Huh? Keyword again, by the way. For those who don't know, um, we got egg makers. Uh, a guy well, yeah, you did. Uh, for you, uh, Chris and, and Brandon. Brandon uh, started the whole thing because he's a big egg sandwich guy in the morning, and so that's what what we use at our house. And was very curious, and and, and again said very clearly, look, if it doesn't work, if you don't like it, uh, I mean, it works, but if it doesn't work for you, it's pretty clutch. Um, then no, it's a very simple contraption, weirdly enough. And so you said again, meaning uh, that implies you've used it more than once. I have uh, clutch. I think is the right word by yeah. Jason because for me, I will admit, I like my eggs when I make my typical basic scrambled eggs i guess a little bit of milk a little like softer fluffy you know yeah so if i have time i'm yeah. still gonna go about that okay. but today you know coming in studio i'm not exactly a morning person as i'm sure you guys have become no, aware no. um it comes in clutch for quick mm-hmm. you know make it quick throw well, it on a bagel toast? oh bagel, bagel. I, I, I do i go bagel cream yeah. cheese actually with the eggs yeah, well. And, you know, eat in the car. So, but normally when you uh, scramble your eggs, you like them a little bit more, uh, what would the term be, wetter than, than the normal? Yeah, maybe not too much, I but understand. like Fluffy. softer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever watched uh, the YouTube clip on uh, Gordon Ramsay cooking scrambled eggs? I have. I swear, actually, that is where I took yeah. a lot of my scrambled it's, eggs it's, techniques it's from. Best way That's where I got it. the little bit of milk. Yep. I never would have thought to do that. Or, you know, he'll, he'll put a slab of butter in. And mm-hmm. then I, I actually don't make my scrambled eggs in like a traditional pan. I do it in almost like a little mini sauce pot, like like that you would put top ramen in or mm-hmm. something, just because it's easier to have. Maybe just take a uh, <clears throat> like a, a, a plastic spatula, mm-hmm. uh, and just so you can kind of skim the sides and on the heat, off the heat, on the heat, off the heat. The rule is with Gordon: if if your eggs are cooked and they're on the stove, they're going to be overcooked. You pull them off a little early. Mix them up a couple times, put another dab of butter in there to stop the cooking process, and you're dialed. That I can actually handle a little bit. But then again, I have to have, like, cheese, salt, pepper, yeah. bread. I can't just do egg. But you're right. The 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 egg maker, have you tried putting in, like, uh, ham in the microwave with it or a, some sort of meat, a cheese? I have not. Yeah. yeah. You can just throw that right in there. You just put it on for an extra okay. 10 or 15 seconds, and everything's warm. Okay. Uh, we made them in studio last week. Mm-hmm. I yeah. believe it. Yeah. I Jason. still smell it a little bit. Yeah, a l- little bit. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> also, Simone brought in some uh, master streets yes. as well. Yeah. Uh, Brendan, uh, I put out a poll after the Kings lost to Oklahoma City, uh, right after. So, of course, um, everybody was really, really thinking straight and not over emotional. Of course. Um, 92% of respondents said that they just wanted the season to end. That's where the fan base is. Last night, uh, or before the game, I apologize. I said, uh, I asked, would this season, uh, would you consider them overachievers or underachievers? Uh, 89% said that they uh, underachieved. Uh, you're aware of where this fan base is right now. What do you What do you say to them going into a very, very tough second night of a back-to-back in an incredibly important game? Yeah, I you know, did kind of like your amputee metaphor yeah, right, a little right, bit right, earlier. Right. I yeah. thought that was fairly accurate. I mean, I think that when they didn't take the swing to add another piece of this deadline, that they were pretty locked into obviously a similar roster to last year. Yep. And I think that in a way that makes this a hold over a year, which maybe isn't the right term. Like I've been more focused on the internal development that I think is important for the long-term roster construction of this team. Like De'Aaron Fox, Demonis Sabonis, Keegan Murray, wherever they get better, is going to be really important for Sacramento long term. And De'Aaron's jump as a three point shooter, being more aggressive uh, defensively, and continuing to grow a chemistry with Mike Brown, Demonis Sabonis, 
Keegan Murray, you know, sure, they get along year one, but that can continue to get better. The steps that Keegan has taken as a defender and learning to be more aggressive offensively as well. I think all these internal things are still so big for the long-term development of the team. And I get that it's easy to overlook that. And I get a fan base perspective of let's just wait until they actually do take this big swing and that next step comes. But I think this is a natural part of the process. And there have been plenty of positives that I think are encouraging for the next steps. And so now, but where they are, it's kind of that feeling of they're not playing their best at the end. Uh, yeah, they could finish seventh. They could finish 10th. It, it it feels really unstable at the moment. And as we know, Brendan, it could stabilize as quickly if they play well and win tonight. But where are you reading where they are currently after last night's loss? It's tough because you have to imagine every other team in this conversation, play in conversation. If there's a team that you want to play, everybody's going to pick the I Kings, yeah, as would. they should. Yeah. I mean, every other team, Phoenix, if you throw New Orleans in there, which is part of this conversation, um, the Lakers, the Warriors, these all have superstars. Now, I'm a big fan of Fox. I think that the best chance the Kings have of winning a season, or maybe even just a play-in game, is De'Aaron being the best player on the floor. Right. And that might be tough against Steph Curry or Kevin Durant or Devin Booker or LeBron James. Like, these are really high caliber players. So I I think it could be a tough spot, but also we've seen mad deer and Fox right during games. And that guy plays at another level. And I think we got that last postseason too, until he hurt his hand. So I'm not holding out. I'm still holding out hope that De'Aaron can really carry this team because what this year will be remembered as is really whatever happens in the postseason. I feel like. Brendan Nunez with us, Kings Insider for Sacktown Sports. I want to go back to something you said in uh, your last answer before this last one. You were talking about this season being important for internal roster development. Mike Brown said something uh, to the effect of, I, I, I love what, you know, what, what not I love, what the team is going through right now is invaluable. And I think that your point about internal roster development and Mike's point about this being invaluable – I think a lot of the fan base needs some depth on those statements, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, why is that important? Yeah, I think it's probably the most important thing that he said post game yesterday, and probably been one of the biggest things of this year is that they're they don't have guys that have dealt with the expectations following a good year. Mm -hmm. You know, he mentioned Javale a little bit. Javale doesn't play that much right now, and Harrison is really the other one. And Harrison was really young. And to be blunt, was there there were other guys that were, you yes. know, he was just kind of following in their steps. He wasn't Steph Clay or Dre. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that the big thing is learning to deal with expectations. Last year, you're playing the Sacramento Kings as a different team. You're not really taking them that seriously. They might not get your best game. This year, it's not like you're, you know, Mike Brown always says we've become the hunted instead of the hunter. I don't know that they're getting hunted necessarily. There's a little target on their back, though, more than last year. Yes, yeah. absolutely more than last year. They're not getting taken for granted anymore. So I think they're getting every team's best effort. The way that we've seen teams packing the paint recently, at some point, teams, quote unquote, figure you out and you have to find a counter to that. So I think that that is part of this process. And specifically, again, this core three of Fox, Keegan and Sabonis haven't dealt with those expectations and even the mental aspect that comes with it. You know, these guys all have social media, obviously, in these days, maybe not Keegan Murray or or Demonis Sabonis actually now. So maybe let me take that back. We know De'Aaron Fox is on social media, (laughs) Um, but I think that there's just a lot of expectations that come with this year. And that comes with different teams approaching you Mm -hmm. in various ways. And also just a mental hurdle that I think that you kind of have to move past. Yeah, I, I got to wonder what the mental hurdle for them is with New Orleans because I think there were moments of last night's game where they were really good, the Kings were, mm-hmm. but they weren't good enough. And that's a tough spot to be in when you play a team that has a pretty – like they weren't playing Boston. They are playing a team with a similar record that has owned them, and then you play them again, you're going, we're giving them a pretty good shot here, and it's not making a difference. That had to be pretty humbling for them. Yeah, and you know, no Brandon Ingram, no Larry right. Nance Jr. It really kind of felt like they had seven, eight guys maybe on yeah. New Orleans side. But this one was weird to me because I felt like since Malik Monk had gone down prior to this in those seven games, they were third in defensive rating, but 17th in offense and had kind of shifted, maybe not their whole identity, but just some of the way that they were going to apply some things and, and the points of emphasis. And this one was back to they can't really stop anybody, yeah. but they found plenty of ways to score. You score 123. Mike Brown always say that's enough to win an NBA game. Mm-hmm. It's giving up 135 and 30 plus in every quarter. It really felt like the start of the first, start of the fourth, kind of end of the third 
were the stretches that made it tough. And I actually thought it was an example of, you know, the Kings thing this year is say you get up big, the other team goes on a run and it extends longer than maybe what a typical run would. Yeah. And I thought New Orleans did a really good job of stopping Sacramento's runs early. Yeah. On the recent road trip, they were one and three. We talked about this. I know you're aware of this stat. Uh, in those three losses, they blew two 20 point leads and they came back from a huge deficit against Boston and had possession pretty much with eight seconds left in a one point lead. I think the problem the fan base, I think the problem we have in a sense trying to figure out this team is. Well, will the real Sacramento Kings stand up? Are they the team that can build? Look, every team, Detroit, Washington, they can all have great runs. But it so consistently this year, the Kings have been able to either build these huge leads or make up these huge deficits. So is that version of the Kings the real team or is that a flash in the pan and it's more of the other? I think that they, as of this year, and I had, hoped that maybe this was changing a little bit yeah. with the defense. I think that's where you find consistency, but I think this year they are just the inconsistent yeah. team, you know, and I do think a lot of the NBA is like that this year, but it, it probably is more extreme on Sacramento side, but it comes with being a team that struggles defensively. I think it's hard to be on every single night offensively. Sometimes shots just aren't going to fall and they will for the other side. So I think that's where it could be tough for them to find some consistency. And with Malik Monk going down, I just don't know who's supposed to get into the paint and make yeah, plays. Right. You know, it's Fox. And after that, I've liked the steps I've seen from Davion and a little bit from Keegan or Harrison as a good second quarter, but it's just who can you rely on to hit the paint and make plays? Yeah, something Dave and I were talking about earlier. Like, uh, they obviously miss Malik. There's no doubt about it. For all the things we would normally expect, his shooting, his playmaking, is he's a different vibe type of guy. I think it's taken something from Sabonis. Yeah. Yeah. And... I didn't anticipate that. Maybe I didn't appreciate that enough for his two man game. And just, I, I, one, maybe another great player and even Herter's floor spacing. It just, Sabonis is getting numbers, but they're not the same, I would say, the last two weeks or so. Yeah, it's funny. Everybody and myself included, I'm always pointing out Domas's best skill is making his teammates better. Malik Bunk makes Domas Sabonis a lot better. Yeah. And it's that pocket pass. You know, mm -hmm. Davion had a really nice, like, cross court over his head pass yesterday to a corner shooter that was gorgeous it's that pocket pass mm -hmm. in the pick and roll and they just don't have anybody that can run it. So when Fox sits and now you're kind of Davion and Keon or that coach said pregame yesterday, that's why he went to Kobe uh -huh. is maybe Kobe can run a little bit more pick and roll and we can try to get that going. But you know, you've seen typical rookie struggles from Kobe in a little bit in some of these minutes, but I think that Malik definitely has a bit been a big loss for Domas. And so is Kevin. Those yeah. are the guys that he ran the most two man game with. And I think specifically the non Fox minutes have been tough you know De'Aaron was a plus three mm -hmm. in yesterday's game I feel like his minutes went okay it's when Domas is out there and he's not where you really really miss Malik yeah Brendan Nunes Kings insider with us we were watching your video as many were of Kevin Herter's media availability yesterday and he had mentioned amongst other things that this had been a shoulder issue he was getting repaired that had bothered him a long time and we all know that the Kevin Herter, you know, people forget the Kevin Herter pre three point contest last year was a revelation to this team. And then it seemed like he hadn't been the same. Did you pick up any implication at all, even if it's just hopeful optimism, that maybe part of the issue with Kevin Herter this year has been that shoulder even before he heard it? It's interesting. I did not, um, but it did catch my ear. Mm -hmm. And now that you mentioned that, it comes into my mind for sure, but I, it, he referred to it as an episode, Yeah, you know, and he, and he hesitated a little bit trying to figure out the proper wording, but yeah, clearly it's been something that's messed with him for a while. He said, since he's came into the league, uh, really, okay. which is weird. And he kind of tracked it even a little further, but it sounds like the first episode quote unquote, and this right. obviously being the most extreme of them happened when he first was really coming into the league. So something that, probably has been a little lingering for a while, but I'd imagine that was probably the same when he was shooting 45% yeah, first yeah. couple months. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe it's like, uh, what's his face in the Cubs movie? He, he, oh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I what are you talking about? The rookie of the year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, a movie I've seen. Wait, but who, come on. Kyle. Miss Chris Verlau would definitely know he it. He would 100% know it. The kid, the, yeah, the kid, the kid who. Know, but, what's know, but what's his character? All right, I'll look it up. Ask Har Har Harvey, no, no, Irvin, Henry, 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 Henry,
um, could be conveyed if they make the playoffs. If they don't, how damaging would it be to one miss the playoffs literally and have that basically now be a one year deal where you made it, but also the freedom and stuff that they would have if they make it to convey that pick. Yeah. I think that missing the playoffs would obviously be tough. I try to look at an optimistic or at least, you know, there's both sides, but mm-hmm. I try to present the other side as well. And I think that, you know, maybe that could make them come back with a little bit more fire mm-hmm. next season. And I guess that's how I would attempt to present that in a positive light. But um, remind me the other part of your question. So the other part is like, if they don't make the playoffs, though. The pick. Yeah. I'm under the impression that they think they could get those restrictions removed at any time. Really? Oh, then that, they would just make that sure that it's would gone. be easy. Okay. okay. Um, that's the impression that I've been given. And from Atlanta's perspective, you know, maybe the way that this draft is talked about and viewed changes that, yeah. you know, maybe they decide that instead of having the 14th, 13th pick in this draft, they'd rather have 22nd in next year's draft. Yeah. But, you know, from Atlanta's perspective, I feel like it's very obvious that the Kings are going to take another big swing, mm-hmm. whether that's this off season sure. or the next deadline. And Atlanta has to know that as well. So, I'm under the impression that they think they could get those restrictions removed whenever they wanted. I want to just let you know that uh, Tiger Woods, who is trying to break the record for most consecutive cuts uh, at the Masters, is now at plus two. He just Ooh, right on the cut line, just, huh? just bogeyed seven. A, a just missed about a uh, eight footer off the right edge. So that is a bogey. He is one over for the day, two over for the tournament. That is right on the line. If the Masters, uh, if the day ended today, he would make the cut, but he just ran out of room to spare. Brendan, um, let's talk about Monty McNair. Uh, in your opinion, I'll ask you two parts here like Jason did. Number one, did Monty McNair in hindsight make a mistake running this back? And secondly, you talked about big swings. Does Monty McNair have, you said maybe this summer, maybe next do you think Monty McNair has the luxury of waiting past this summer? I think the furthest you could wait would be the deadline. Okay. And I agree with you. That's the first, like, I'm not putting it past Monty. We've seen these guys be very, very patient. Mm-hmm. And I go back to Buddy and Bagley. I feel like it was like two years, probably two off seasons mm-hmm. and deadlines where it was obvious these guys are going to be traded. I think Bagley's agent put out a statement, the, the, hour before opening day yeah. and they kept them the whole year yeah sure you know yes. so they are very patient i understand it's a different team and scenario your timeline's a little bit you have more pressure on that yeah but i i think that you know that that's an okay spot to be in and i don't think it can be determined if it was a mistake until we see what the swing eventually is you know yeah. I, I think that they are going to go trade for a guy and I will judge the patience that they had during this stretch based on what that eventual deal is. Do you worry about what's in the cat and what's in the cupboard though? Going back to kind of the draft pick conversation, Mm -hmm. you know, outside of Fox and Sabonis and, and who knows, maybe the thought has changed on Keegan, but outside of that is Monty cooking with uh, ingredients here. I do worry about, cause it's beating the other offers, right? Most packages have a young, promising player in the deal along with a bunch of picks because Sacramento's intriguing thing is mainly going to be all these handful Mm -hmm. of picks, say three first, three swaps, whatever. Right. right? And for whoever it may be, but I guess Davion's the guy and pick your matching salary of does the team prefer HB or Kevin Herter? Just because that's the reality of the matching salaries and where the upgrades are probably needed. Is Davion changing perspectives at all during this? And like, I think Kobe and Keon are like part of the conversation. Do these guys have value though? I think that in, I I could see a team being like, you know, I think we think both these deals are about even throw us Keon and then we'll call it, Okay, you know, something like that because these guys are on team specifically Keon because Kobe still has things to prove. I think he's kind of following his footsteps, but these guys are on team friendly deals that help championship contending teams. Yeah. It feels like all of this that we kind of talked about earlier, but hangs on monk, right? Like, yeah, What's what's going to happen with him? And if he's not in the picture, then it's a big scramble. If he is, then you, you, you're you running back a certain version of it, but still need to add with him. And to your point, because we're on this subject, and yeah. that's exactly where I was going to move, is so you take a look at a guy like Harrison, $18 million. Um, Is there a scenario? You know, we know that they're a little limited on what they can do for Monk, but can you help us with that? Because it's I've also heard that if they clear room, 
they could sign Monk for something else. So is there a situation maybe where it's almost like a Rashawn Holmes so they could extend Sabonis thing where we see Harrison tied up with a, f- a first round or a future first or Harrison tied up with a Davion or somebody with a little value to get rid of that money to help with Monk? Do you see that on the table? Yeah, I'd have to look at the exact number, yeah. but my understanding is that they're far enough above the salary cap that to get to the point where they'd have to not only get below the cap, but get 20 plus mil below for oh, whatever sorry. you're trying to offer yeah. uh, Malik that, you know, what teams with cap space this off season, which there's already not many yeah. are just going to take those guys into their cap space for draft picks. Yeah. It seems like something you would have had to finagle with at the deadline and yeah. try to get expiring guys and free up cap space that way. But even the spot they're in, it might've been a little tough to really make that money. So they're, they're pretty locked into that 478. And I'll never say never because front office guys are creative and sure. find ways to figure things out but it seems like they're pretty locked in that 478 and i feel okay about it 70 30 that he stays kind of where i'm at okay you do yeah are we sure that like he's full like could it be less than 478 i feel like that's not asked well i think the first question is is there a team out there that would offer him you know right 25 a year at four you know four and a hundred which Maybe. i can i think that's what they think their market value is that's what i worry if philly yeah. or orlando mm-hmm. philly's gonna have all the cap space if they go four and a hundred it's it's how much malik do you love sacramento and playing with the Aaron fox do you love it 22 million dollars worth which by the way maybe he does let's also remember too here's something we uh, not to get too nerdy but we have to consider in doing some in having some conversations with those people that know things one of the reasons apparently orlando is so front of the line on this it's not just because of what's out there it's also because you're dealing with such restrictions yeah that four years and a hundred million in Orlando versus four years and 78 million in Sacramento is not that on the surface because there is no state tax in Florida. And that becomes a big deal to these guys for their big contract. So he's going to have to take a hometown discount. Almost certainly you would think to stay here. And I just don't know if he will or won't. I could see it. I hadn't thought about the state taxes. That's yeah. why you're the vet. Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's only, so many teams with space you mentioned it orlando philly toronto's in there san antonio can get like close to sacramento's number pretty much i don't sure. really see them maybe but sure also no i believe no state tax in texas either correct? good point yeah yeah so um, but the yeah. guards that are available you go demar Derozan, clay thompson d'angelo yeah. russell malik monk it's kind of just what do you prefer mm-hmm. you know yeah. they feel all in similar tiers and there was a reporting Orlando's interested in clay. Is that because they want somebody that plays more off ball and they want to keep the ball in Paolo's hands and Franz's hands. They just drafted Anthony black and already have Jalen Suggs, a high lottery pick. I feel like also these conversations with Malik and I feel like it eventually gets to the point of what if he wants to start most of these other teams I look at, I'm like, I think he's coming off the bench on these other right, teams. Right, too. Right. Mm-hmm. If, so. if he was, if one of the, his demands was to start, Sure. And he'd take 478 if you're Monty and Mike Brown. Do you do you uh, acquiesce? Sure. Sure. So do I. I personally don't think it should matter at all. But, I mean, it, to each his own. To him. Red Mike. Yeah. 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 I mean, to each his own. But if you're out there at the end of the game, then I think that's enough, personally. Well, you, you'll be out there at the beginning and end of the game tonight, sure. along with uh, this weekend, as you are pretty much all the time. Brendan Nunes, senior Kings oh, insider. It's upgraded. Yeah, it just Ooh. happened. Uh, yeah. Joins us. <laughs> Uh, as he does each and every week. Brendan, appreciate it. We look forward to everything you uh, write and put out uh, this weekend and on to next week for the play-in and perhaps playoff series. So thank playoffs. you. Playoffs. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, playoffs. guys. Playoffs. Yeah. We'll take a break. When we come back, we got uh, really catch yeah, too. we're going to do what to watch. We're going to do uh, celebrity birthdays before we get to Friday Fun and Games. But in the meantime, meow, meow, Jason Ross. you got to it. Cat. It's the River Cats Report. What's going on with a Giants AAA squad? The River Cats Report. Well, here's what's going on with the River Cats. They're home. Get out there this weekend, tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday, a weekend set as uh, get out to the ballpark. It's Smud Orange Friday tonight. Uh, Kyle Harrison t-shirt jersey giveaway as well as uh, one of the first 2,500 through the uh, gate. Get that t-shirt tomorrow. Chris Weber, they'll have the meet and greet. Really, it's going to be a great time out at the ballpark to check out your Sacramento River Cats who stopped the four-game skid with their win yesterday over El Paso. And we'll see if they can keep that going uh, again tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday as uh, the River Cats 
are at home this weekend. That is your River Cats report. We're back with more right after this on Sacktown Sports. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sacktown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! It's all on his shoulders. Cox rocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Welcome to the Tap House Restaurant at Bartley Cavanaugh Golf Course. With an array of local craft brews from a selection of 20 taps, the Tap House menu boasts freshly made sandwiches, crisp salads, and a variety of specialty entrees. The Tap House is the perfect place for a round after your round at Bartley Cavanaugh Golf Course, especially during happy hour from 3 to 6 daily. Drop by the Tap House restaurant for scenic views, exquisite food, and a hearty welcome. The Tap House at Bartley Cavanaugh Golf Course. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Folsom Lake Kia. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR 3 Weather Center. We're off to a pleasant start for your Friday. Expect to have increasing clouds this afternoon. You'll feel a bit of that southwest breeze as well. Temperatures cooler with highs today in the low 70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCR 3 News and the KCR 3 app. Spring savings continue at Folsom Lake Kia. Low payments, special offers, zero down deals on approval of credit. Shop your trusted Kia dealership for over 25 years and tell them DC sent you. FolsomLakeKia.com. Slightly Stupid, live in concert. Saturday, April 27th, 7.30 p.m., the venue at Thunder Valley. With special guest, Fortunate Youth. For tickets, visit ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Slightly Stupid, live. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us, and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda, yeah, your one-stop Honda. I love this time of year when the azaleas begin to bloom and the singing birds' sweet dawn chorus remind us that blue skies and sunshine are at hand. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. In sports, the definition for the word master is one who's achieved a high degree of skill, and that will be on display in the highly anticipated golf tournament. In the furniture business, a master is a highly skilled craftsman, an artist even, whose work is coveted by those who appreciate design, quality, and durability. John Keyes was the mastermind of Naturewood Home Furnishings. He knew that you wanted your home to reflect your personal style, whether that was a plain coffee table or a masterpiece for you to enjoy forever. That's why when you walk into Naturewood Home Furnishings, you'll find the largest and best selection of the highest quality home furnishings in Northern California. Masterful. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Carmichael, 
day. He has very good sources and he, he just kind of tells it as it is and gets to the point. Jason Ross. He has a lot of pretty smart things to, to say. He's good at what he does. On Sacktown Sports. A lot going on today. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just started. I let my. I forgot I was hosting this show. I just started <laughs> thinking ahead to tonight. But uh, let me just give you guys the rundown real quick. The Suns' remaining two games are against the Kings and the Timberwolves. The yep. Kings, obviously, the Suns and the Blazers, both at home. Lakers uh, play the Grizz and the Pelicans. Warriors, Pelicans, and Jazz. So for us to get seventh. The Suns would need to lose both. We would need to win both. Okay. For us to get, get eighth, we just have to hope the Lakers and Warriors finish with the same result, whether it's 1-1, 0-2, one one, mm -hmm. whatever. A tie in record with either the Warriors or the Lakers, that's in our favor due to us owning the tiebreakers. So tonight, Lakers at Grizzlies. Pelicans at Warriors. Suns at Kings right here on Sacktown Sports. If you are picking now yeah. what you would like, not, so it doesn't even matter if they're 10, 9, 7, 8, or 7. Mm -hmm. I know we'd all pr uh, prefer them to be in the 7th uh, spot or 8th spot. Sure. Who would you want them to play? In the play-in? Mm -hmm. Because the options are still all four teams. We mentioned there is still a chance they could play the Pelicans again, which would just be awful. But Pelicans, Lakers, Warriors, or uh, Suns? I would probably go from most wanting to play to least wanting to play. Lakers. This is most wanting to play. I would most want to play the Lakers. Okay. I'd put Suns first. And, and I know that I know that it's the Lakers and it's LeBron and it's AD, but I just have to go on the fact that we swept them. Mm -hmm. We swept them. I think I go Suns, Lakers, Warriors, Pelicans. I'm obviously oh, to me the Lakers are first and the Pelicans are last. That yeah. I'm struggling with. Uh <laughs> obvious you know what screw it i would go warriors second suns third i'll tell you why first off i think the suns are a better team than the warriors i just i think okay. kevin durant devin booker bradley beal are younger and they're 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 just i think they're a better team now the warriors have been very good lately mm -hmm. but also you know what this year has been so screwy stupid so frustrating so lame give me a shot at sending the warriors home Give me a shot at sending the Warriors home because I got to be honest. Even if we even if we get swept in the first round, that would suck. Even if we didn't make the first round because we're the nine ten and we beat the Warriors but lost to the Pelicans, mm -hmm. the the Sunkers. There's something cool about sending the Warriors home, and you know what? If they beat us, whatever. It's not going to make the season worse to me. Right. It's just going to be the cherry on top of the poo Sunday. Mm, yeah. Nice. yeah, 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 yeah. So. Give me a shot. Uh, yeah, I would go Lakers, Warriors, Suns, Pelicans. Okay. And you said what? I said Suns, Lakers. No. Yes. Suns, Lakers, Warriors, Pelicans. Tell me why you'd rather face the Suns, who we hopefully will be two and two against. Part of that answer also is is thinking they would likely be a seven eight. Okay. I think if you get the Lakers, you might be nine ten. Gotcha. Um, okay, and I think they got to avoid that. Uh, no, somebody's asking about an update on Fox's ankle. Yeah, I would have liked Mike Brown to clear the bench around five minutes. I understand they had. Yeah. You know, but let's read the tea. Fox leaves. said he was okay, he but did. this is a today thing. I think it, at this point. It, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And I'll tell you right now. Look, knock on wood. Hopefully, Fox is fine. But I'll tell you right now, if God forbid Fox were to miss tonight's game because that ankle. Mike Brown's going to have the whole entire world coming down on his shoulders because everybody's going to say the same thing, myself included. Bro, you're down 20 with four minutes left. What do you, what, what's going on here? And we've seen the whole, like, okay, so the Pelicans put in half their uh, reserves, and, oh, you cut it to 10. Rad. How many times have we seen that this year? That's It's the banana and the tailpipe finish. We have fallen for it quite a few times. Uh, and if, if, if it's one thing if deer and Fox gets hurt, it's another thing if deer and Fox gets hurt, expending a lot of energy and physicality yeah. in a situation that really doesn't warrant it at all. I mean, I understand there's some discipline involved there. You got to kind of swallow pride, swallow ego. It's tough to wave the white flag in front of 18,000 faithful, but you got to live to fight another day, but yeah. hopefully, which is today, which yeah, 
that's what they're doing. They're fighting uh, today. Nationals and A's, uh, that is tonight in Oakland. Giants at Rays, they start their East Coast trip. Uh, in talking about the Masters, we are in day two. Remember, it was a split day two. Tiger and a few others. Huh, Kyle? Oh, did you say birthdays? Yeah, what? What do you say? Yeah, 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 I know. Um, yeah, we'll get celebrity birthdays in a second. Uh, Scotty Scheffler tees off in an hour, but Max Homa has caught Bryson DeChambeau. DeChambeau is uh, even through two. You're all wondering about Tiger Woods. The cut line is plus two. Tiger Woods is at plus two. That is the projected cut, which means if it ended right now, he would, in fact, make the cut. Here's an interesting story. Somebody who might be making the cut. This is a developing story. VJ Singh is wow. three over par. Uh, VJ Singh is kind of one of those dudes that one in the past and just kind of automatically gets to come in yeah. and he plays two days and he goes home and tied at three over Jose Maria Olafable. He's and, always up there. Uh, right. It's, it's pretty cool. Big names like Adam Scott, Jason Day, last week's winner, Akshay Batia, Shane Lowry, all at three over along with Siwoo Kim. Uh, Bubba Watson, multiple winner at four over, as is Ricky Fowler, past champion Hideki Matsuyama, four over. Justin Rose, five over. I know I'm focusing on the bottom, but these guys, Keegan Bradley, six over. Jordan Spieth Masters is almost certainly done at seven over. He shot a 79 yesterday. Dustin Johnson, nine over. Uh, Peter Malnati, who won a couple weeks ago, had that great uh-huh. post, post-match post speech. He is at 10 over. Uh, and then, you know, Freddie Couples, where VJ Singh should be, uh, is at 11 over. That's no real surprise. Uh, Rory McIlroy just kind of hanging out at one under along with, amongst others, U.S. Open champ Matt Fitzpatrick, Cam Smith, and Victor Hovland. All right, Celebrity Birthdays brought to you by Crumble Cookies. Birthday is meant to be spent with family and friends, and nothing brings family and friends together better than Crumble Cookies. I don't see Simone back there. Oh, she's right there. Grab a mic, dear. Let's go. Uh, Kyle, Simone, me, Jason Ross, Celebrity Birthday. All right, let's go. Happy birthday today to David Letterman. David Letterman is 73. I'll go 75. 77, please. We have a correct answer, and it belongs to Simone, yeah! 77 on the nose. Wow. She's a big David Letterman person. Yeah. Happy birthday Ew. to okay, Ed O'Neill. David Letterman person. I mean big. Jeez. God. To Ed O'Neill. Hey, Al. Al Bundy. Uh, he was Jay uh, Pritchett. He, yeah, he's on your yeah. show. Also a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Really? Yeah, that is a fact. He's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Uh, Ed O'Neill is 76. I'm just going to take your word for it. I'm going to go 80. No, 69, please. Uh, we have a tie between Kyle and 78. 78. Dang. Wow, Kyle, big Ed O'Neill guy. I definitely know who that is. Happy birthday, Claire Danes. Yay! Claire, what happened to Claire Danes? He's doing great. What are you talking about? Where the hell is Claire Danes? She's What's... on HBO Max. She's got a new show oh, called The Regime that I haven't seen, she... but it's on wow. the... The web page there. She's an A list actress. She's now around. She's, and yeah. that is not Claire Danes I'm thinking about. No, oh, yeah, I was about to say yeah. that is definitely That's not. I mix either. them up. It's it, a past yeah. Leo lover. Okay. What can I say? Claire Danes is 49. 48? I love how they're just both backpacking me right now. I have no, no idea who this is. We should she's have from Romeo first. and Juliet, and yes. she is turning. Oh. 46 no. today. No, no, All right. Simone, the closest, 45. All right. They are guessing first. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll ask them this uh, to guess on Andy Garcia. Andy Uh. Oh, wait. Is is that the uh, the Dead & Company guy? I have no idea. That's not where I know him from. Um, let's Ocean, see. Ocean's, Ocean's 11. 11. Yeah. Ocean's no, it's yeah. not who I'm okay. thinking of. Father okay. 3. Yeah, he's been a lot I've, of movies. It's an actor. That's not who I Let's thought. go with 64, please. Uh, 60. Let's say 62. Okay, Simone's the closest, 68. Oh, All right, that. this one, Brad Miller, former Sacramento King, nice. living his best life. Brad Miller. He was there yesterday. Was he? I didn't see He's Brad. He's in the corner there. pocket. Be rad. Who's at the corner pocket bar? Oh, that also wouldn't surprise me. Brad Miller. Uh, Brad is 44. I'll go 49. 45, please. Kyle is the closest. 48 for Brad Miller. And uh, let's see. We've got two left here that I wrote down from Sports Center, L. Duncan, and from nice. the Eagles now. I think Vince Gill. 
Vince Gill, the singer? Uh huh. Which would you prefer? <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles? Vince Gill Give or me, Elton? Here's a random thought. Uh huh. Give me former host of my little sister in college at Thanksgiving, Vince Gill. Okay. Her best friend was uh, Amy Grant's niece. Oh, gotcha. And so they went back married, to Tennessee. Right? Yeah, they're married. They so how old is Vince Gill? Vince Gill, who, by the way, has an angelic voice. Most people don't realize, uh, unless you're Vince Gill fan. I have no idea. Vince Gill is 61. Okay. Al Duncan's 40. Okay. Aww. <laughs> I'll go with L too. Is that possible? Well, sure. Wasn't L. Duncan the pitcher for uh, the Yankees? <laughs> won a couple Stop. World Series. Orlando Hernandez. Mr. L. Duque. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go with forty-four, please. Okay, so Kyle is closer on the L. Duncan as she's forty-one, uh, and Dave, you were the closest as the only. What did you say? Vince Sixty-one. Gil? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Wow, Vince there you go. go. Uh, all right, we will take a break when we come back. Uh, Friday, fun and games. Jason, do we have any hints whatsoever, or is it going to be a surprise, surprise, surprise? We've played the game before. Okay. But with two new entries in there, I think it's going to be a game changer. Mm. And by two new entries, I'm meaning Kyle and Simone. So I want to see how this game is played today. <sighs> Let me ask you this. Is it going to be hard? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, speaking of, I want to talk to you, Jason, about something where you can get immediate results. Yeah. All right. Me and uh, it's something that is non worse by music. It's something that is non-surgical and you didn't virtually give it was yet. pain-free. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll, I'll take good the listening, Kyle. Good listening, Kyle. Uh, it is safe. It's effa- safe. It's effective. It's long-lasting and semi-permanent. But what am I talking about, kids? I'm talking about girth. What? Okay, I probably shouldn't say kids. I'm talking about girth. Uh, adults, I'm talking about girth. Very important according to uh, all the surveys. They say girth is, is that is at top of the list. So if you've lost your uh, your your uh, your confidence a little bit, if you're insecure in the uh, in the the romance department, my good friend Dr. Jack Friedlander and his friend Dr. Pash have got upsizematters.com, the website for you to check out YouTube. Listeners, listen up here. It's a free consultation. The procedure can be done on the same day as your consultation. This is a big deal. He's got people flying in just to get they fly in, get it done, fly out. Do it with uh, Dr. Jack in Roseville. Dr. Uh, Pash is in San Francisco. Get that confidence back. Get rid of that insecurity in the bedroom. Immediate results. Private don't worry. You know, roll right in. Get it done. Roll right out. A whole new person. Go to UpsizeMatters.com. 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 Get your girth on. When we come back, Friday Fun and Games next. I'm Ken Korak with your Green and Gold Report, brought to you by Xfinity 10G, the network made for streaming. Well, on the same week, the A's announced that beginning next year, they'll be playing at Sutter Health Park until the move to Las Vegas. Paul Blackburn did some very impressive things on the mound. When he blanked the Tigers for six innings in Detroit, it gave him 13 consecutive scoreless frames to begin the season, the fourth best total in Oakland history, the record being set by Matt Keogh with 16 back in 1980. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and other charges extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. So here's a fact. 85% of the population will suffer from foot pain in their lifetime. That's almost everyone. So you'd think there'd be plenty of healthy long-term remedies, but there just aren't, right? Hi, I'm Dan from the Good Feet Store. You know, people come in all the time sharing the same frustrating story. Bought this, tried that, been there, done, whatever, all different kinds of things, but all with a similar result. Nothing. A discouraging and endless cycle of disappointment. If this rings a bell, don't despair. There is hope. If you think you've tried everything, 
you probably haven't tried Good Feet Art Supports from the Good Feet Store. They're designed to relieve, even eliminate, the pain commonly caused by certain foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, flat feet, and others. Plus, provide better balance and increased comfort. See what we can do for you with a free art support fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one in your neck of the woods. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. In the Folsom Auto Mall, you can buy any new New Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. We have finally made it to Friday. Let's end your week the right way with Friday Fun and Games. On the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Yeah. 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 The end of the week for us. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, we had a loose dog. Is Gracie going to play Friday Funny Games? Yes, she is. Gonna play Friday Funny Ooh, cover Games. Up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, welcome in, guys. How are you? Great. Never been better. This is the best Friday ever. Mm-mm. Why? Big dog fan. Oh, huge dog fan? Huge dog fan. Well, she's not a big dog yet. Not a big dog. <laughs> she won't be a big dog. So adorable. The biggest. Look at that face. Yeah. She's a demon puppy, though. I get to she lose the staring contest every time. Yeah, every time. Yeah, she, she already looked away. She just because she wants to see and sniff everybody. Not built like that. She just nope. You're not. You're not. No, you're not built. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Sure. So, uh, anyways, did you want to continue the off-air conversation on air? Because I will. <laughs> no? You good, Alan? How are you? No, nope, I'm. I'm a little nervous for tonight, but honestly, I was. We talked about it yesterday. So calloused with this team, they they really can't hurt me anymore. No, you know, veteran Alan. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kings fan vet. Yeah, I hear actually, you. Warrior fans were getting mad at me today because Pajemski came out and said that he thinks that him and Trace Jackson Davis are the best rookie duo. And I said, "Is that even a yeah, thing? Is that a thing?" And now I'm getting flamed. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, a poor. Uh, You're right. Poor yeah, Warrior fan. I, I had uh, who was it like? Some eight. by the way, oh, real quick because we gotta get Friday funny game. Let we me sure do. Let me yeah. just say, let me just say this. Hey, Oakland fan, I'm trying to be on your side, but you know what doesn't help is whenever the Kings do bad and I tweet about it, getting in my mentions and saying you guys deserve it. That there's nothing that will turn. I there's nothing that will turn me. I'm like, hey, A should stay in Oakland. Mm-hmm. You know, feel bad for him. Keep that up, and I'm gonna be yes, like, now you, you now you can't have your team back. I'll yeah. show you. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping it for like just you know, it's not our fault. So relax, right? Relax right. on the whole Kings hate. Dave, crap. Yeah, Dave is Dave did not bring the Ace of Sacramento. Dave did not bring the Ace of Sacramento. It's misdirected. Yeah, just I don't need you in my timeline gloating about the Kings losing. Mm-hmm. Like keep keep that energy. That's right. Wherever. All right, Friday mm-hmm. Funny Games time. Okay, Jason. we're uh, it was a game we played before. It's wavelength. We're gonna give a number, but I wanted to see oh, how we this. do with Simone and Kyle in here on this. Oh okay. no! Yeah. So Dave, you'll be the first one. You just don't look. I'm gonna show a number for for everyone else here. Let's do yeah. this, everybody. You guys see? See? Okay. See? 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 Oh yeah. yeah okay. True. Dave, ask your questions. You can ask to everybody to help you pick what this I'm trying number to is. pick a number. I'm trying what to find out what the, the number, number is. Yeah, yeah. so okay. if you ask. You is it know, between 1 and 10? Yeah, that's how <laughs> yes, it goes. Yes. It's between 1 and 10, but then you're asking a question like, hey, Jason, tell me this in a Kings player. And if I tell you the player, then you oh. go, oh, that sounds like that's a 10 or a oh. 1 or a 2 or a 3. Mm-hmm. That's your Gotcha. Example. You've played oh. it before. Yes, I have. A couple times. Tell me this in the Kings player. To me? Yeah. Oh. Um. Let's go with Malik Monk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Malik Good? Monk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, 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 is it is the number six? You can keep asking. Oh, well, I thought <laughs> so that's what you're you feeling it, right though. now. You that's yeah. what you're feeling. I feel like the sixth man. Okay, so Ooh. keep going. Uh, Alan, um, give this to me in dog terms. Mm. Wrong person for that. Uh, give this to me in cat terms. No, give this to me in musical terms. Give this to me in sports radio terms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, how about, how about uh, just pick question. any of them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sports radio terms. What does that mean? Uh, you want a host or? Mm, sure. How does this number apply to a host here at the station? <laughs> here at the station. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would wow. say myself. Okay. Oh, is it number one? <laughs> no, uh, that's, that's the that's best. Rilad. One is the that's worst. That's a Rilad version. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. You can ask that room. You can ask Chris. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Uh, Kyle. Hi. Give this to me in a food version. Food version? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Simone's food that she brought in today. Okay. Does that help you? Does that hurt you? So <laughs> now careful. you've heard. Yeah, be careful, bud. <laughs> you've heard Malik Wong, guess, Simone's food, here. and uh, Alan Styles. I'm going to say the number is eight. Wow. Wow. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. That's impressive. Oh, it's okay. It's All right. Chris, do you want to play or do you want to yes. do what, yeah, Who yeah. wants to go next? Can I just ask why yeah, were sure. you eight? What, what was the connection there? That you know, because I'm just still grinding, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm, I'm in a good spot, but I'm still grinding. I'm I would have said yet. eight for myself because it's the closest number to a picture of me. Okay. But that's a whole All right. So Chris show. isn't looking. Everybody see yeah. the number? Oh, yeah. Yep, got it. Okay. Got it. Ah. Chris, go for it. Yeah. By the way, should we tell the audience? Well, the YouTuber saw I can, it. I can. Okay. 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 No? You say it. The number is four. Yeah, yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah we're, good. we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. We're good. What? Okay. Uh, I think I have to go quickly here. Uh, let's do it in. Uh, uh, Dave, give it to me as a soda. <laughs> I got one. Nice. I would say not A and W. Oh. But mug root beer. Hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. What's your early feel right now? I'm trying to think if that's better or worse that it's it's mug. He's very um, specific with that. Okay. I, I guess I, like a five. Okay. Let's see. Keep going. I, mm-hmm. I got you on in and out fries on a scale of one to ten. That's what you're working with right now. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's well or not. Um, Simone, can you give it to me as a reality TV show? <sighs> that's challenging. Let I mean, you don't watch any of that's these fine. reality TV shows. Based on the ones she's shown me, Below Deck. Oh, that's a great suggestion. Okay, okay let's go with Below Deck. Okay. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Alan, give it to me as a uh, a current baseball star. Oh. Okay, current baseball star. Oh my God, I would say awesome. current baseball star. Wow. Well, this is I guess that can kind of be an oxymoron if it's like a low number. Yeah, I'm really gonna say that. Brandon Crawford. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm trending more towards like a, a three. Don't don't answer four, yet. Or maybe yeah, you answer it. Okay. So what's your final answer there? I'll say a three. Okay. I will. I will give you one more. Let's see if you get it. Okay. This dog is uh, awesome. If you did ask, give it to me in a sports term, something like sure. that. Sure. Yeah. A miss hit golf shot. <laughs> I mean that's like a one. No, like a Dave is messing with the game. I'm a little. I, 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 I'm technically not, but yeah. Because what? What do you say? What do you, you yell when someone oh, shakes I a see. golf shot? Four. That's not the game. It's not a game. It's not the game. It's practice. What's coming up on the show today? A lot of kings. A lot of playing. Embrace the playing, and we say goodbye to the six seed. We say goodbye, and every year Alan Styles has been here, they've been a play-in team, mm, and they've facts. never been a play-in team before in their entire franchise history. All right. Fastest-growing radio <laughs> show in all the world, <laughs> Styles and Watkins, Sans Dog, joins 
us next. How about I want to beat the thing now. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sackdown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets, but 